Right, let's try again. Right, good evening everyone, welcome to the stream. So let's try again. I'm just making sure everything is working as it should here. So we finally fixed the issues that we were having. It looks like it completely corrupted my game when I was having the initial, initial issues with uh, my 4K OLED in front of me. As you can see, I am now on the screen and I have got it working. Actually, what I'll do, because I'm planning on... Oh, do you know what? Let's let this run through. Because we had the issues the first time, we never actually saw any of this introduction. So I'm going to publish this stream anyway. And what I'm going to do in a minute, once we get into the game, as I'm going to bring up the page that has a fix. So if you guys out there have a 4K uh, TV or something that runs Dolby Vision... Um, there is a fix on the EA forums on how to get it working to not crash a game. What, ha what happened to me was it crashed my game on multiple occasions and it looked like it corrupted it. Gave me all sorts of controller issues and stuttering and freezes. So now that we're in here, let's Welcome to call up that page. Uh, right, what have we got? So let's, let's bring it in here for you guys. I can call it up here. Let's drag it across. So here it is here. So uh, game crashing after Dolby Vision logo. I will link this down below in the uh, video description here. Um, so if you go to this page here, there's a fix on the second or third page, I believe it is. Uh, if you just scroll down, I think it might be on the third page, actually. Uh, this one here, here it is for the Dolby Vision issue. Try this. It's simple and works great. So if you follow that link, Basically, you just need to install a program called Crew. Uh, you need to sort of tell the driver that the TV doesn't have Dolby Vision and then the game will launch. So that's how you do it. But like I say, I will put that in the description when I publish the video for you all. Uh, so let's jump back in. So hopefully that, um, hopefully that resolves it for you guys. All right, let's get a different screen up. Uh, Nexus bot, you loving the game? Um, no, well, I'm certainly not loving the ball stuff, but we're going to move past that. It might have been an issue with uh, just the fact that it was stuttering and stuff, but hopefully we'll, you know, maybe we'll get a little bit further into the game. Maybe we can start enjoying it, have a look what the career's got to offer. It might well be fun, you never know, because of all the problems I had early on. Maybe it's just a case of I was getting very frustrated with it. Um, so we've got a 10-hour trial, so we might as well just, just play it and, we, and just see what we get. Oh my god, it looks so much better on this TV rather than looking over there to that small screen. Well, not a 27-inch screen, but yeah. We're finally on the screen that it should be on. So, that's pretty loud. What we're going to do is... Um, we're going to have a look at career now tonight on the stream. Um, so, I've been in and I've uh, set my settings properly. As you can see... Uh, where, oh, hang on a minute. No, no, no. As you can see... Um, we have the controller issue sorted out as well, which is nice. So it's not kind of clicking all the key binds and whatnot and moving the wrong screens and doing all sorts of weird navigation. So we've sorted that as well, which is good, thank God. <laughs> that was frustrating me as well. That wasn't helping. Um, let's turn some of these down. That is super loud. Uh, menu, 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 menu. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just uh, we'll, we'll apply that. Like before, we couldn't even apply the changes. It would just like go on to like a different screen completely, wouldn't it? So uh, I reinstalled the whole game, Spoon. Reinstalled the whole game, mate, and started fresh. So I think what had happened is where the multiple crashes were happening. I think it maybe corrupted the installation of the of the game. Even though I did go in and, and try to repair the game, um, obviously it didn't find whatever it was. But it seems to. Seems to have sorted it now, mate. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a lot better for us now. So, so let's check out the career tonight. We're going to move past the ball. I'm not going to get too worked up about how the ball plays. Let's just see if the game is fun, what is actually in the game. Um, I think I just need to play it for what it is, see it for what it is, and just move past move past the ball physics right so let's hop into career so where do you want to begin your career start your professional career 
on the Corn Ferry Tour where you'll compete against other golfers as you try to qualify for the Corn Ferry Tour Championship presented by United Leasing and Finance and earn the ultimate prize, a PGA Tour Guide. That's the, uh, that was the Corn Ferry. And then obviously we're... This is normally where you start in games on a Corn Ferry, but you can actually go a little bit further back in this one. Start your career in an amateur championship where you'll have a chance to earn a coveted invitation to play in the Masters and the US Open. Finish your amateur career in Q School where you'll compete for a spot on the Corn Ferry Tour. So we're going to do that one. Um, so where will you play your amateur season? Where shall we play? I mean, it's got to be. It's got to be USGA, right? Bandon Dunes, four rounds. Or the RNA, that's going to be at St. Andrews. Uh, we got this one, which is the Asia Pacific. I don't know. Do we do do we do St. Andrews for something a little bit different? Maybe we could start there, couldn't we? Being as soon as we're in the UK. We don't want we don't want to do Augusta now. Um why change the camera angle? Just mixing it up, mate, basically. Just mixing it up. Uh Asia Pacific. That's where you want us to play. That's where you want us to start. Yeah? Tara Itty Golf Club. Never heard of it. New Zealand is goated. <laughs> I just don't know if it's going to have any sort of uh, effect on... See, I kind of... I really I really want to go to St. Andrews, Booney. I kind of want to start at St. Andrews. Four rounds... I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to do I'm gonna do St. Andrews, mate. I want to see what St. Andrews looks like. We're going to start there. Being from the UK. You do you, baby. Right, AI scoring difficulty. Well, we're going to... Uh, we're going to bang it up to 100, right? Uh, round type. Quick, full. I wonder what the difference is between all those. Um... What does it mean by that, I wonder? It doesn't exactly say four rounds, does it? Round type controls the type of rounds that will be played in regular tournaments. With full rounds, you will play all of the holes in the tournament. Oh, okay. Well, we want to do that. With quick rounds, you'll only play the most important holes. Okay, so we want full. And we want full. And we want full. Apply changes. Right, welcome to the amateur season. Complete the following to advance. Complete the amateur championship bonus. Win the amateur championship to qualify for the Masters and the US Open. Finish Q school inside the top 40 to qualify for the Corn Ferry. Okay, there you go. Right, so we've got week one. Current season. Then we've got coaching challenges. Cool, nice. Average driving distance. Statistics will be displayed... So statistics will be available after completing your first amateur event. Okay, so these sponsor challenges might be pretty cool. Um, oh, it's still doing the stuttering thing. Why is it doing that, man? It's getting stuttery again. You see that? That's weird, isn't it? So this is a new install now. Look at it. It's stuttering and the music's going off funny and everything. Uh, right. Oh, wow. We've got loads to do. Look. Hopefully, they're just bugs that they're going to iron out. Right. Obviously, we're starting with our own character. Um, yeah. So, we're going to be going to be pretty pants, to be honest with you. I think we're starting at... 67 is our rating. <laughs> then we've got leaderboard. So what's the winning score or leading score so far? Minus six. Course preview. So we've got a look at... Oh, that's nice. See, this is nice. This is nice. I like this. We can have a look at all the holes. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's nice. That is really good. That's really good. So the score to beat there, minus six so far. Well, for round one. Now, are we doing four rounds? I think we are going to be doing four rounds, aren't we? 
And what's the quests at the top? What's that? Quests. Oh, so that's these. These are just like seasonal quests. And I thought they might have been quests for this particular tournament. Yeah, so these look like overall quests. So that are just going to unlock like milestones. Okay. Cool, cool. I like that. Um, is this on Steam? Uh, it is on Steam. The game is um, Mac. This version isn't Steam. This is just through the EA app. Um, just the uh, early preview build. You get like a 10 hour trial. I didn't think Steam were offering the 10 hour trial, but um, the deluxe version uh, goes live tomorrow. And then the standard edition goes live on, on Friday. Right, let's head on in. Let's have a little bit of St. Andrews. EA Sports, in conjunction with the RNA, so proud to spotlight golf's best amateur talent from around the globe. Uh, Today, no, we bring you, you can't, coverage can't play on Steam yet. Tomorrow, tomorrow. This is just the uh, what might the we trial have in store on, uh, for on us the over EA the course app. of these next four days. We've got big names. We've got dark horses. We've got it all. We as got we it all. The leaderboard on this Thursday. Some good names up there. I mean, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? It looks really nice. <laughs> it does look nice. Right, a little uh It's super loud, isn't it? Right, here comes Turbo. <laughs> right. So I think we might have a few issues with some kind of random frame stutters and whatnot. I'm guessing that's just because it's a trial version. Hopefully there's maybe like a day one patch. Uh, right, what do we got? What do what we got? Drive. Okay, let's bang it down there. Okay, let's go. Right, what have we got? Fast and overswing. Oh, that's trouble. That's not trouble, that's perfect. What's he talking about? That's trouble. Oh my god, look at this ball roll. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh, all the way through on these rock hard fairways and into the burn here at one eight. Oh my god. What? How does that ball run so far? That's crazy. So this is a good time now to bring in Nota Begay the third, had an outstanding amateur career, played at Stanford with so none other than he Tiger was, Woods, he was four like, times a winner on the PGA he, he was Tour. Like so saying Nota, to me, oh, this ball is in trouble, and I don't be stupid, that's like a perfect try. Why is he saying that? As a high level amateur, where are they at this point? Well, the, uh, the nerves are right, we're going to be in trouble here, then, aren't we? Huge Five, excitement six, about what's to come as an amateur. It's so hard to stay focused. See, on I just don't know what these rollouts are going to be like. As you can see, I've, in order I've to fixed the um, performance today. I fixed the issues now regarding the controller, which is nice. Right, so I just don't know how this is going to. Sit down, ball. I'm going to have to get used to the um, how the pitch is kind of... How, I mean, how much roll that is. I'm, prob I'm probably going to have to learn, like... Uh, this would be a bonus yeah, unless you play, like, backspin pitch shots. It looks like they run and run and run and run and run. They just don't stop. So it's kind of a little bit weird. Not what I'm used to, but, again, different game. Different game. Uh, yeah, 50-yard roll. I wasn't expecting that rollout, to be honest with you. Uh, this is not a uh, no, this is not a great start, is it? Let's uh, see if we can putt down a long one. Now, obviously, the the beads are going to be a little bit different to 2K, so it's going to take a while to to learn the new beads. Oh, I think I've got it, haven't I? Oh, what a putt that is! Oh, how Boom. bad for a little early round what a save. That is in for par here at the first, and he'll stay at even par. What a save! It's a bit stuttery, isn't it? Hopefully they fix that. The 411 yard par four second featuring the first of the old courses double greens. Best to work a little left off the tee to avoid gorse uh, To be honest, PJ looks like this. Right. Oh, this is this right looks way better. Spot. This it's does look way better. Right. It's very the, the frame pacing is very strange. Like all of a sudden it will just feel like you've gone from 120 FPS to to 30 FPS. 
Very strange indeed. Uh, right. So we're going to have to remember the rollout on the fairways. They just keep going. I mean, this is Lynx Golf at the end of the day. Oh, perfect. Look at that. This may be a touch right. The miss fairway at one didn't hurt him, but this a much better tee shot as he is safely in oh, the, the fairway. Oh, the rollout is crazy here. Oh, my goodness. So what's that? Two, that was 262 carry, 345. That's a 100-yard roll. <laughs> so after that bomb of a drive, this his second to the par four. So let's have a look what our... They see me rolling. They hate it. So what we're going to need to have a look at is punch shots. What have we got? So we've got approach, we've got chip, flop, pitch... So do we do we do a high one? I guess we do a high one, right? See, I'm really worried about the rollouts now. Is it going to roll or is it going to 80 yards roll? Yeah, I mean, Lynx Golf, you do get a lot of... Don't forget, Spoon, you do get a lot of roll in Lynx Golf. See what I don't understand is how how you stop a pitch shot. I don't and I don't quite get why it rolls so much. Don't get why it rolls so much. Right, judging by what was going on early on, I'm just gonna play this pitch shot real short. Stop, stop. See, that's what I don't get. Just just the amount of roll that's on these shots. And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tap in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all. Oh, ideal. we're gonna have to gonna have to have another big putt here, aren't we? Blimey. Another big roll coming up. Turn, baby. Turn, baby. Ah. Oh. Just needed a little bit more, but Hello, Combat. How you doing, darling? There. Welcome. Welcome to a new game. New golf game. Okay. Yeah, it's a bogey. Here bogey. A second. He'll drop back to one over See, par. where I'm getting in trouble here with uh, with the, the the shot types is just not understanding the, the ball roll. Third. And drive it not understanding how I can stop that from happening. Because right I couldn't see any way of putting backspin on that. Challenge comes on the approach with Cartgate Bunker coming into play. See, see again, like it gets it gets all stuttery. Look at it. Look look at what's going on. Look at this. I don't know what's happening. But my actually my 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 OBS has gone funny as well. My OBS goes funny as well. So it's like it's something very weird going on with the game. Very weird. Um you know why my game keeps crashing when I connect to the EA servers? I don't, but I did see on the forums people were saying to disconnect your internet. And then load it to the uh, load the game, and then once you're into the game, you can um, plug your cable in or whatever. Reconnect to the internet. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I know it was straight spoon. I th I think the game is having an effect on that. I don't I don't know why. I, d I don't know what's going on with it. Doing it again. Oh, it's bad news, isn't it? Streets. It's like no other game does this. I don't know what it is that's that this game is doing it for. Like, like I can play. Well, you know me. I stream everything. This is the only game where this is happening. It's kind of weird. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 I know. I, I just don't know why it's doing it. There's obviously some sort of bug in there with OBS, Good maybe. chance to get one in close from here. You have this no idea. Is it's very strange. Very strange indeed. I wonder if it's... um. Hang on a minute. Let me... Okay. Let me just try something. Let me just try something. One second. For some reason, I, my, I can't use my mouse pointer as well. Right, there we go. Let me just try something a minute. One second. I'm going to change this camera. So, you know, I've changed this uh, this this face camera here. I'm going to go back to the old style. One second. Right, filters. Right. Right, I'm going to try that. Maybe that new fancy camera type thing that I've got there on the on the OBS. Maybe that's causing me some issues. I don't know. Let's just let's just have a little look. Cuz that's the only thing really that's changed, isn't it, for me. Maybe it's that that's yeah, messing me around. Um where can I move that to that I can second. If I put that up there like that, then that's kind of out of the way, isn't it? And you can see what's going on down the bottom. Uh, right. So, what I'm trying to work out is how I get a pitch shot to stop. Now, obviously, we can use a flop. We, flops ain't going to go very far. So, there's the pitch shot. So, 60 degrees is as is, is, is much loft as we got. Now, how do we put loads of spin on that? So, that's low. That's high. How do we get that to spin and stop? Because I, I feel like I, I'm having to land all my pitch shots like super... Like halfway between the flag and, and myself. Which is kind of a little bit weird. Like how do you stop a pitch shot? No, this is what I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to work out how you okay, add, not how you add spin. Close, but a chance for the putter to do its thing. Note of a gay down on three green to look at this putt for birdie. All right, and let's a uh, very makeable look here. Not too much undulation at let's all. Let's try to get my bird. Slight move to the right. Now, how much break are these beads in comparison to 2K23? Come on, keep turning, ball. Keep turning, ball. Keep turning. Oh, get uh, in. Well, what a putt. Straight into the cup. It's a birdie here at number three. All right, birdie on three. Frank, the challenge begins to intensify here at the fourth. Yeah, a bit risky if you try and hit it down the right side. Um, just about every player I've seen over the years has sort of um, a little bit to the left. That's a safer tee shot. I'll be honest with you, does sit up a I'm very not enjoying second. it that much. I think, early, so I streamed early on and I had a load of problems with the early on stream. Um, some teething issues with the, the trial version with my monitor, well, with my TV 4K OLED. Uh, it was causing a whole load of bugs in my controller. I think I've got them resolved, but I think I might have some issues with my OBS. I changed my camera and it seems to be affecting what's being encoded. Um, so that... I think got in the way of my enjoyment early on. We're going to see how it goes. There's a few things I don't like about this game. It looks amazing, um, but I, I just I can't work out the ball roll. The ball physics for me are not very good. Um, but I'm giving it another go. See if we can work it out. So that's. Oh. Look at the ball roll here at St Andrews. It's bonkers how much roll you get. I like how you can move this camera like this. This is pretty cool. That had to be in the rough. The whole way, one more bounce back on the fairway. So after the fortunate kick, here's second to the par four. 
So, see, I don't understand why that went so far left of the tee. Because I think that was a pretty straight shot I hit there, wasn't it? So we get straight here. So we get approach. We get punch. We get just approach and punch. Oh, do you know? Do you know what it is? I know what it is. It's just come to me. We're using my own character, aren't we? We haven't unlocked any shot types yet. We haven't built our character up. Earlier on, we were using DJ in, and um, um, Shuffle, Xander, weren't we? So they had all of the shots unlocked. We haven't unlocked anything yet. Our character is... He's got nothing unlocked. That's why we haven't got no spin. That's why we haven't got no spin. Uh, right, so what have we got? So I'm going to try to hit a... Uh, silly boy, yeah. I'm going to try to just overpower one of these and get this running onto the, uh, into the green. I mean, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Look at it. It's beautiful. Beautiful looking game. That might be a bit short. It should release, though. Oh, and that one stops. In golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. You'd love that a do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just... Oh, yeah, I did. There was a way to select, range. like, um, uh, finesse, we go um, spinner. There were some other things there in the menu as well. Downhill overall, with a break from left to right to consider also. Okay, my pattern's been pretty good, to be fair, hasn't it? Right, let's have a look. Nine down. So we're just going to play this like every other golf game. We're just going to take, like, nine off. Um, can we can we pull the flag stick out? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. I can't see anything down there which would suggest we can take that flag stick out. Come on, roll. Come on, roll. Come on, ball. Oh my God! I think I had the line. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that. Putt. I think I had the line there. <laughs> That's not a bad putt. I think once we get the hang of the uh, the pitch shots and the chip shots, I think we're going to be in a much better position. Um, oh, that's short, is it? Okay, okay. that one finished off. Gotcha, that makes sense. Not sure I like four. that approach to and character we'll development, but it's not horrible. Far. No, I mean it all depends how quickly you earn XP, doesn't it? If you earn XP really, really rapidly, we come now to the fifth, the first par five on the front side. You know, if you do Saint really Andrews, well in the tournament, it all depends. It, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see once we get through to the end of the game, end of the round, how many, um, sisters bunkers off the how many XP points we earn. Is a possibility if the weather cooperates. I don't know if there's any way that I can have a look at our character from here. I don't think there is, is there? So we've got menu, quests, and settings. So there's no way that we can actually have a look at our character, I don't think, just to see just to see where we are currently. Obviously, we can see our XP up the top right. Um, but there's no way to have a look at the character from here. I like that, that you can do, like, whole flyovers and stuff. That's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. I think, do you know what? I think that camera might have been the reason why I've been stuttering, Spoon. Because it hasn't really started since I've turned that off. Right, let's try. Let's uh, let's bomb one down there. Oh, we've gone a bit over. Fasted it. So that should go left, shouldn't it? If we fast it. Yeah, we're going to be in the rough here, aren't we? Oh, no. That's not what we wanted. Oh, my good God. Oh, and that just did not want to settle. It'll wind up rolling off the field. Oh, what an ugly lie stuff. this is. <laughs> Heavy rough. 84 to 94. Can we... Uh, we're just going to... We're just going to have to whack this, and hopefully we get it up there. It's obviously going to be whacked into the ground, isn't it? Now, is it going to just... Literally just thud right into the bank? This is going to be interesting. Yeah, it just thudded right into the bank. <laughs> I, I like the way that you can move this camera. That's pretty cool. Oh my god! Of all the places for oh, us to go, we've gone in the sand. The ones you really want to make birdie on, but the second shot uh, that's gone into that. Uh, point, Eighty to ninety percent, so we can't bring it back anymore. We're just gonna have to hit it and hope for the best, because we need to get it over the top, don't we? 
Just gonna have to maybe like short swing one. Oh, perfect. That's not a bad shot. Good, clean Rough contact. looks awesome. Yeah, nice it looks result. good. It's your fault as usual. Yeah, up. but of all the places I could have bloody hit that Note into, that, this, that one little small birdie. pop bunker. And this is not the place to be. It's a really tough side hill putt. He's got to push it out to the right, right. and just let it drift back to the hole. Wow, I'm really, uh, really testing my putting skills here, aren't I? This is for bird, though, isn't it? This is a par five, isn't it? Oh, what a putt! Indeed, the line there, perfect. It is in for a birdie. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just testing out all the shots. Here we are now at the 374 yard par. What's a putt? Six. That's the second monster putt of that hold out, isn't it? Here, avoiding the coffin bunkers on the left and a series of bunkers on the right. Right, par four. So we're gonna get loads of run on this again. Uh, so where's the wind? Oh, four miles an hour out our back. Okay. Look at that ugly driver we've got there as well. <laughs> that was a good swing. Perfect. Yes, baby. That's better, isn't it? And that will do just fine. Look at the roll. It's going and going and going. He's happy with it, isn't he? He's really happy with it. So the great tee shot left him right, here. Right, so all we've got is punch. Relatively close range. Chip. Well, we do have a flop. Can we... F what's the furthest flop we've got? Oh. See, this is what's very different to, like, uh, 2K23. The ranges of shots. So the three different clubs that I can use for a flop shot. Look at the difference in the yardage. 14, 21... And 19 and 18 very little in the different in the distance like in 2k23 you could probably find a flop shot go 45 50 yards easy in this game you can there's there's no there's no shot there there's no shot there whatsoever now how do we how do we see the green grids here there we go there we go so I'm going to have to play it really short and hopefully it runs. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we'll check, uh, tech, was it? Texas Wedge, isn't it? Sit, ball. Sit, 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 sit. Yeah, I mean, these runouts are crazy, aren't they? Okay, on the green, but that's going to leave a putt that will get your attention. Uh... Okay, 18 down three. Sorry, 16 down three. Our pattern has saved us tonight. Will it will it save us again? This will be the third save. Uh okay. Let's try let's try that. Oh, that's short, I think. Ah missed the line. 17 yards a roll, yeah. I mean, it might be all to do with the clubs I've got as well, Spoon. I, I'm using, like, probably the rubbishest golf balls. The rubbish clubs. In for par here at the sixth. And he'll remain in red figures. That's all right. We got a par. We got a par. I mean, we're only five off. The more holes we play, the more we're going to get used to it. It's just different. It's just different. You drive this pretty close to the green. This is a, a green that's shared with the 11th. Uh, right. We do not and, want to go in um, one of those big so ass bunkers, do we? Is it worth? Finish, but, um, you can actually drive very, very oh, close so all we've got. We... The shell, Wait. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. The There's the free wood. The Might just take out the three wood because I don't want to hit it up there in that bunkers. Oh, look. Perfect again. I've got that forward tempo. Oh, don't go in that bunker. I took a three word to not go in there. Come on. Come on. Why is there so much roll? And that 
that one not going to stop in time it'll roll all the way into the bunker that's crazy so i own a this a second from the bunker yeah and this is the price you pay for taking too much club off aye, aye, too aye. aggressive now found himself in shell bunker with a tricky approach to the green oh my goodness me right Get up. Oh, come on. Stop rolling. <laughs> stop rolling. <laughs> mm, not an ideal result. They're hoping to maybe get this close. It is on the green, but not where you want to be. It's okay. It's okay. We can just lag this up. If we get the bird, it's a bonus. Our pattern has been pretty good so far. Not this time. Not this time. Ah. Mm, good job of dead right by the hole. It's a roly poly ball. To go it's a bit like my belly. That one finished off. It'll be a part of <laughs> Ice rink. I'm playing on an ice Remain rink spoon. At one under par. I mean, it's steady. It's steady at the minute. But like I said, the more holes we play, the more we're going to get used to how, what the rollouts are. And of course, we can't choose any shot types right now, so we're not going to be able to, to stop the ball on the greens until we uh, get this character upgraded a little bit. Right, eight iron. It's very easy to take this hole for granted. Wind is straight in our face. So can we possibly hit it a bit higher? Right. Come on. Oh, perfect again. Come on, sit down, baby. Let's get on it. Yes. Yes. Look at that. It's easier. It's easier to control an eight iron from 150 yards than it is to control a pitch or a chip from green side. <laughs> right, let's not mess this up now. So it's I, I can't see how far the hole is. Like it's I know it's seven foot. I know it's seven foot. Oh, it's five foot. Okay, doesn't doesn't show me how many feet it is. Yes, get in. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at uh, the end. Here's the thing, right? It's consistent, so you can learn to adapt to it, and it might not be as bad as we think right now. Yeah, it might not be. That's what I'm saying. You just gotta, bunkers, just gotta get used to it. It might be way bunkers. different. It might so change a hell of a lot once we, we this front side you know, start the unlocking these ninth. these other shot types. And end Char character bunkers. development, yeah. Right in the of the fairway. Maybe so it was just because early on we struggled with uh, if you with do, all the bugs and the, and the, the frame rate issues and the controller issues and stuff and and frustration after frustration in, you know what I mean and now I've changed my camera to get rid of the uh, the green screen around the back it seems to have stopped giving us this um this lag this encoding issue doesn't it so maybe that's that was another issue and it's all just you know it's all just happened all together and made it a real un unenjoyable uh, experience early on so we should be able do you know what we should be able to get this on right if 258 this will probably go through the green oh mate I'm getting my perfects all the time look go on run you wait now it won't run now it will stop and then we'll have one of those we'll have one of those stupid chip shots now which are impossible to stop I uh, wonder if all creative so characters have drive. a putting stance. Not much needed to carry here for his um, I've chosen this. Um, I've chosen this um, animation, so they might be different on the animation. Um, so, pitch shot is pitch shots like running out ten yards, isn't it? So I'm I'm probably I'm going to come back here. I'm going to come to like twenty two, and just let this sucker run. Oh, I've hit that too hard. That's okay though. That's a chance of a bird there, isn't it? Approach shot here at the ninth, and a good opportunity to finish this side with a birdie. See, it's kind of weird how it doesn't tell me how 
how far the hole is. I mean, obviously, I can move the pointer there. Um, so it's nine up to. I'll make sure we get this there, don't we? I'm thinking about here. Think about here. Just a hair off target. And those are the ones that'll drive you crazy. Look at that, right on the edge. I mean, that hole still looks way too big for that ball. It, it does look like you're hitting a marble into a bucket. <laughs> Just to tap in there for par at the ninth. And that's going to make this a 234 um, yeah, on the, the front side. I would say As we begin the backside here at St. Andrews, you can really feel it's easier the this whole name did on because the ball feels Bobby like Jones as long as it's anywhere near the hole, the it seems to attract amateur, the ball. Like any other golf game, you get lip outs. This game, tired, it seems way, to just grab the golf ball and sink it. It even feels like you could bomb it through and it will still drop in the hole. Now, one thing. As Obviously, which makes it difficult is is knowing what the beads do, how much break is on the bead. Obviously, we're used to different golf games, and the ball rolls very strangely on the greens. Like, it'll have pace, and then it'll just completely die, and it kind of does, like, an oscillating thing. And you even see on the ball, like, when the ball's coming to stop, you can see that the ball's spinning, because you can see the logo on the ball going around like this. Now, you wouldn't get that on a golf ball, so I don't really know what's going on with the ball physics there on the greens but uh but yeah there's some weird stuff in here for sure look i've got perfect again i'm getting this perfect absolutely nailed uh, I f uh no what do you think there. of the club sound no i don't like the club sounds the not one bit <laughs> not one bit uh, uh yeah the, the full yeah i said that in my original video uh, why have a, such a long a long putter animation for such a short tapping just bring the just bring the putt back and just push it through it's kind of weird now a short one for his second uh, right what have we got 36 so they're kind of rolling out around about 10 aren't they so this one's uphill so i'm going to go a little bit short what we don't want to go is go long because if it if you go long behind that pin it looks like it sort of slopes away so we're just going to take our medicine here and stop. I'm not getting the, uh, for some reason I'm getting like, why has that gone so far to the right, that ball? Nine feet left here for birdie. 108 yard roll there. Yeah, sounds like someone, yeah, the, the sounds are terrible. Sounds are terrible. Have no idea what's going on with them. Yes, rolls it right in. A birdie here at ten. Another birdie, boys. Another birdie. Uh, sounds like someone wiping wet rubber, whipping wet rubber. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's it's a weird one, dude. I'll, I'll, yeah. I, I can't sugarcoat it. It's just bad. The sound the effects bad. This one's called high elevated green, and you've got to fly that. Right, wind. That the, the wind is the behind the six. Uh, you really take anything on this green. You make a two here, you'll make a move on the field. Wow. Okay. Do we want to play the aggressive line over that corner of that bunker, or do we just want to play safe? God, I tell you what, that pin couldn't be in a harder position, could it? That is a carnival pin, if ever I've seen one. Would you really find a pin there in the real world? That close to the fringe? Oh, that's... Ah, oh, fasted it. Oh, my goodness. Sit, ball. Whoa! Dearie me. We could be in trouble here. We could oh, be in real trouble here. And that just got up in the breeze and took off on it. Oh, we're gonna have to try a ch um, we're gonna have to try a flop shot. So a sixty. It's hard to see. How can we uh, how can we move the camera to see where we are? 
Oh, there we go. So we could just flop one on the top. And just let this sort of release down to the pin, right? Oh, oh, you suck. Oh, oh my goodness me. <laughs> I told you we we're going to be in trouble here, didn't I? This is going to absolutely line. ruin our round here. This is going to kill our round 100%. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. <sighs> look at him. Look at look how jacked he is with his veins in his arms. Look. <laughs> 12 feet still to go. We were a little bit stupid going for this pin, I, I think. I think we should have probably just played sensible and just played middle green and just took the par on this one. This was, I think this was a very foolish play. Uh, I tell you what, putting's not bad. My putting's not bad. There goes all the momentum. Boy, was he happy after that. Yeah, should, should have done, should have done. It'd be nice if they put those animations in, wouldn't it? When you play bad shots, you actually get really, really bad animations. Uh, really, really bad, um, like, moods and... Uh, so iconic in the attitude you know like yeah, i don't know yeah like say throwing a club on the ground or having a little pop at his caddy or something i don't know four little pot bunkers that are in the middle of this fairway so you really got to be cognizant of those but right uh, time to take the head cover off i don't think we want to go up on that green do we <laughs> i really don't think we want to hit that green so let's just come back i think visually the lighting looks gorgeous i'm I'm, I'm really, I, I think it looks excellent. We're going to have to play a three. Ah, see, even if I play the three wood, I'm worried about that next bunker. But a five iron, I don't think it's going to get me th get me up. I'm, I'm playing the gap. I'm, I'm playing the gap. Go on, ball. Go. Ooh. Send it. <laughs> He's just happy out playing, yeah. It is in the rough, but it appears to be a pretty good lie. Should have a go yeah, at this. It's not too bad, actually. This. Just so we have got a pitch shot. So we can pitch it. might not be too bad not too bad at all this now for birdie at 12 oh the yeah this is yeah, making ball. certainly no gimme from this length it would be a brucey bonus to find the bottom of the cup so we got Bay right right and then we got right pace. Uh, one two three four five six seven eight lefts I'm gonna go back there about there get in get in oh, oh needed just a bit of a turn, but that will somehow stay right on the edge do you know what I do you know what I actually do you know what I actually keep doing when I'm putting I'm not putting my eyes on the grid there I'm putting my eyes down here for some strange reason at the um at the feedback circle i don't know why i'm doing that <laughs> and then i'm quickly looking back to the other meter and then pushing forward on the putt and he'll stay right where he is uh it does look great must admit yeah i mean listen the ball physics are very very questionable 
that's my major gripe with this game. But I'm just hoping that all the other stuff, you, you kind of get used to the ball physics. I'm hoping that happens because it looks like in the menus and stuff for the character progression and all the sort of good stuff and all the extra information that they put in a lot, the whole flybys and the um, and the yardage books before the, you play the tournaments, the graphics, the, the you know, the crowd sounds and the ambient the sort of sounds is really, really good. Um... I don't like the club sounds and the ball, like I said, the ball physics are, are off. I don't think that's going to change. But I, I'm just hoping that the game is fun. That's why we play video games, right? For a bit of fun. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to play the 10 hour trial. I see. Is this rough over here? It is, isn't it? That's rough. So I'm going to play my three wood. Where's the wind? Wind is in my, f right in my Swede. So, one thing I can't understand as well. When I fast it, it seems to go right. Normally when you fast it, it means your your wrists and your hands have overtaken your club head, yeah? Because you're swinging, you're swinging too fast. Your club head's coming, coming ahead of yourself, sorry. So so you would naturally go left on a fast swing. A slow swing would naturally go right because you, you're basically blocking it. But it seems to be... It, it seems to go the opposite way. I don't know. It's uh, I don't know what you think of that. Have a look in a minute when I play... Oh, I hit a perfect one, typically. <laughs> Don't you dare go in there. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Um, right, let's catch up on chat a little bit. Um, uh, so glad to see someone God, playing a different course other than Augusta. More. After seeing this all the videos on YouTube, I'm sick of Augusta. Win. Wash your mouth out. How can you be sick of Augusta? I know what you're saying, though. Um, so close. Yeah, it wasn't too bad a putt, was it? Uh, yes, you did, Spoon. Spoon did try to get me to go to uh, New Zealand, but being a UK lad, I thought we'd go to St. Andrews and get these these beautiful evening sunsets. Uh, Bore physics are... Do you know what? That's very... Yeah. Yeah, that is very true, Snookerist. They are a little WGT. I played that game endlessly, mate. Made a lot of money on that game as well, I'll, I'll add. <laughs> I made a serious amount of money on that game back in the day. We are talking a lot of money. Um, yeah, it's very mobile golf, the ball physics. Absolutely. Evening, how are you finding this? I'm finding it better than I, how I found it early on today. I had a lot of problems with bugs. Um, controller wouldn't work, and I couldn't get it working on my 4K OLED. There's a problem there with Dolby Vision. Um, so I was a little bit annoyed at that, and everything seemed to annoy me early on. I'm just going to try to enjoy the game. I'm going to bypass the ball physics, because I don't like the way the balls roll. I don't like the way they bounce. Everything is kind of little bit weird in that sense um putting animations are a bit strange it's, at times it feels very arcadey it almost feels like a mobile ga golf game but i don't know i'm just hoping there's a better game in there a little bit deeper um at the minute we're struggling a little bit because we are starting a career so i've got no shot types unlocked here on my character so we're literally struggling our way through this round i think we're like maybe three under oh no we were three under we're now one under i took double double bogey on on 11 as you can see um but we're just trying to get through this get some xp points that's fast i felt that i really jammed that stick forward really jammed it forward see that time it did go left I actually felt like I did jam the stick forward there. To me, a fast is hands moving too quick, which means the club head is behind. And this putt's going to want to go left all day long. It's back up the slope as well. <sighs> right, 29, 27. So it's 27 up 6. So I'm going to call that 33. I want to make sure we get it there. We're going to go an extra 1. Um, I, I'm thinking we're going to go about here. I mean, it's going to middle of this part is going to break really, really quickly. But then, as the ball's losing the speed, you'd normally think that you're going to the ball's going to break more. But when you get to the top, the putt isn't breaking as much. So I think all of the break is the first half of this putt. See, I've done it again. I've done it again. My eyes. I keep putting my eyes down to there for the putting meter, and then I, I pull back and I think, why is the meter? Oh, there it is in the middle. I keep, I keep doing that. I don't know why I do that. It's not a bad lag putt. I mean, that was a tricky putt, to be fair. 
done it again. I keep looking down there. <laughs> okay, safely into par here at 13. And he'll remain if we could get to three right under par, I think that would be a good score. We should be able to, we should be able to birdie the next hole. Frank, the 14th is a big par five chance to make a big move, but also possibility of making a big number if you're not careful. Yeah, you've got to be very uh, aware of the out of bounds on the right side, even though it does. Right, we've got to, to boom this baby all um, the way down there. I mean, look, we've got a right massive that, wide uh, fairway. Very close to that, because then that um, opens up the wind is in our face, that, uh, unfortunately. Away from that crop of bunkers called the birdies. There's a big cross bunker up ahead <laughs> that has to be avoided for the second. Ah, uh, that was a slow, um, really. If you're long enough, you can reach this par five and two. But this green with so many under. I really like the way you can you can do this with the fly. camera. You can kind of move the camera around as your ball's kind of running. I like that. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little touch. Boy, it's been a terrific day so far. Noda, you've been impressed. I really have. Uh, they've really yeah, we the should be able to get this well. here. They've handled the nerves, and under the pressure, they've really managed to... If we could just right go down right where that 257 marker is, nice that would be a really nice shot, wouldn't it? Right, let's not, let's not mess this one up. Oh, I've slowed it. It's going to go right. Come on, ball. Oh, my word. What a putt that would be. <laughs> I'm not sure he got every bit of that three. We're trying to get home to this par five. And we two. might actually have Let's a problem here, chat. <laughs> uh, too easy to hit fair. I mean, here it is because they're so wide. Um... Yeah, here, here it is. Here it definitely does seem it. How the hell are we going to play this, chat? Uh, I guess we're going to have to get the old floppy doppy out, aren't we? 60 flop. Just hope for the best. We're definitely going to have to underswing rather than overswing, so I need to push forward a little bit earlier than what I think. There seems to be a little bit of lag on a little bit of delay when you push forward. So when you get to the mark up the top of the screen on the um, on the swing, it's almost like you have to push forward before you visually sort of spot where that line meets your your backswing. You almost have to push forward before. That's well, that's what I'm finding anyway. Oh come on, baby. Oh, come on, that's a shot. That's a golf shot. 7 feet now for birdie. All right, what have we got? 7 feet for birdie. I'm just going to go 6. Come on, we need this bird. Nope, dropping. Oh, get in. Get in. Uh, that's how you play this 14 hole. Get in. We needed that. We needed that. Shot indeed. It was it was very good. I, I enjoyed that flop shot. It was nice. Infamous road hole, often considered the most difficult part for in golf. Tee shot has to fly the railway sheds and the grounds of the old right. horse hotel. Where's the wind? Seven in our face. I mean, we could try a little cheeky fade here. Oh, I'm slowing it now. Kick left. Oh, no. Get out of there. Get out. Thank God for that. Look at the... Uh Look at the distance. You see that? You see all the um, St. Andrew's oh, town in the distance there, all the buildings and stuff, like shots ahead. So see it over to the left? See, see it over there, the look. Grass. That's nice how it's rendering in um, all of that, what you would see back there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Got a lot of time for that. Uh, pitching wedge. So I think we're probably going to have to go... I think we're going to have to... Well, it's five in our face. It's five in our face, so it might hold this up, mightn't it? 2.2 .2 below, so if we go left a little bit. Oh, I've slowed it again. That's not bad, though. 
Come on, give me a putt. Come on, give me a putt. Now this is where I'm really, really struggling. I, I'm, I'm having a hard time with the pitch and the chip shots. I mean, it's giving me a seven iron, seven iron or, or, or 60 wedge. Now from experience, what I've seen so far, these just keep running and running and running. Now I am pitching into an uphill. Stop. And it still like goes twice as far as where my my Those marker was, and I slowed it. Like to yeah, ball physics are of miles off. Of you, you'll work. get yeah, you'll get loads of people then? trying to defend it, but they are they are not good. Ball physics are not good in this game. They are not good. Um. We need. We really need this. We really, really need this. Turn. Oh my word! No, that's that's, one you just that's not a good short. part. <laughs> that's not a good part, unfortunately. Damn. Drop back now. We play well. We get a couple birdies and then we get a bogey. Uh, right. Let's catch up. Uh, Snoo Chris is enjoying how it runs a lot on this course. Yeah, I mean, it's a Lynx course. You expect it to run a lot, don't you? Um, ball physics do seem off. Yes, we've answered that one. What's your first impression? This is actually my second time playing. My first time I played early on today, my impressions were terrible. I had a lot of issues with the game. It wouldn't work on my... Um, I've got a 4K OLED that I'm playing on. It doesn't like Dolby Vision, so it crashes the game completely. So you have to disable that. So I had issues with that. Then I couldn't get my controller to work. Um, well, the controller it was working but every time i was like pressing a as you can see down the bottom left hand side where you've got all the uh the icons there it kept changing it to the keys even though i wasn't using the keyboard every time i pressed the button or moved or pressed the bumper button to trigger buttons it kept like double clicking like controllers and keybinds and everything was all over the place and i was getting loads of stutter and and lag it, it wasn't a very enjoyable first impression early on tonight but i've come back and I'm enjoying it a lot more. We're struggling a little bit here. There are still things I really, really hate. I don't like the animations. I don't like the sound effects of the club, uh, of the ball on club. And I absolutely think the ball physics are just miles off. It, the, it just, the rollouts, the bounce isn't accurate at all. When you play like a 10 foot putt, just the, just the way the ball oscillates, it kind of looks really just weird. It's hard to explain. Um really hard to explain but yeah i mean i'm just hoping there's a really good game in there a fun game in there beyond that i mean i can get through that it, i mean it's never going to be a simulation it's an ea game it's an ea game so um i mean yeah i mean i'm, I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it, the career, put it that way, so far. I'm, I'm liking this. I can't wait to get to the end of the round to see how many XP points we get so we can start putting, like, unlocks because we've got no shot types at the minute. We've literally only got, like, drive and that's it. We, we don't have anything. <laughs> we don't have anything. We can't, we can't do anything here. So, uh... Where have we got? Perfect. Yes, back on the perfect trail. Here we go. I mean, I like the way... You can kind of move around here, move the ball around. That's pretty neat. Kind of go this way. side. I mean, the crowds look excellent, don't they? Look? I mean, really, really well populated. He's happy, look. He's got his big old grin on. <laughs> this is why you practice these shots from under 100 yards. You've bombed your drive. Now it's time for the touch shot. Zip one in there close. Uh, right, so like here, because we don't have any shot types that we can choose, we're very limited. Um, so we got a pitch and wedge pitch. Now, pitch shots are releasing quite a bit, aren't they? So we might be able to do something here. We might be able to get it up there, you know. If we can get it up on top, then it should come down, shouldn't it? Um, let me play this shot and then I'll answer the next load of chat questions. Oh, this is a good shot. Get up. Go, go, go. No. 
I just had to get just a little bit more onto the top, and that would have been perfect. Uh, that's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light uh, situation. Shameless from plug. That Make sure everyone hits that well, sub button to stick around. <laughs> Uh, yeah, EA do seem very proud of the, the yeah the ball physics. They obviously sure haven't played any other golf game. Um, tried the early trial via EA trial. Can't say I'm a fan of it. I prefer 2K. Yeah, I think I think in a way I prefer 2K. 2K definitely does play better as a golf game, but I think this is going to be more of a flushed out kind of fun arcade kind of experience you know where you build your career you build your player up i think there's probably going to be a lot more in here it does have some pretty cool online stuff as well so what i've seen um you've got like daily tournaments weekly tournaments you've got all different types of tournaments in there as well so it might be good for sort of online if you're into your multiplayer which i certainly am um so yeah, I mean, 2K definitely feels better. Like the ball rolls out better, the ball reacts better, the sound effects are better in 2K, uh, all that sort of good stuff. But yeah, no, this looks visually beautiful, and it might be a fun game. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I haven't got the hang of these um, these grids yet. As he as he just buries oh, one, <laughs> he hasn't got a hang of these grids yet. <laughs> It is down for a <laughs> what a putt that is. Uh, visuals look great. Uh, will it be well, on Steam Deck? I don't actually know. Not every game not every game is on Steam Deck, is it? Not everything is compatible. You know I'm not entirely sure. Any more famous than this. Iconic. Um, it has the potential. Uh, game is clunky. Yeah, it is a little bit clunky. That's a good. That's uh, spot on. That's spot on, really. By the green. That little rogue, that little uh, wow, what a part. Where so much history it was better than unfolded. that. It was better than that. <laughs> it was better than wow. Um, need to hit that minus three. Yeah, I, I'm on that minus three. I'm getting close to it. 19th place, two hours left. I think it is a four-rounder, though, isn't it? It's not a one-rounder. I think it's a four-round tournament. I love this hole. This is just an absolute mental hole, isn't it? Perfect, baby. Should be a good golf shot, this. Are we going to get lucky? Yes, look at this. That is into the fairway. I mean, look at this on the right-hand side. Look, all the crowds up there. That looks really cool, doesn't it? That's got good feels. <laughs> He'll be factoring That's better, in this mate. breeze in his face as he sets for a second. Um, right. Now, here comes. Here comes the shot. Here comes the shot. Do we take it on? Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually play a draw into here. So, as you can see, because we are... This is our... Um, career our character we haven't got any points in this so i can only draw and fade that much which is very very little isn't it very little as you can see like i'm only inside that one box see i can only i can only move inside this one square box now obviously when you start unlocking your character you're probably going to unlock more of those boxes i would assume so you can you can play with your ball a lot more. Three. <laughs> that sounded terrible. But you know what I mean. So we're, it's quite a struggle at the moment, this. I'm not going to lie. Um, do we want to hit that? We are into a five wind. Let's give it a go. Come on. Oh, this should be a golf shot. This should be a golf shot. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. You love to see that. Rich, is that eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but it is a great approach shot. Eight feet now for birdie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I said I said early on, John, about um, when people were asking me, um, it, you know, about their pre-order, should I cancel? I actually said to people, I wouldn't be, I would not be pre-ordering this. I, I don't think it's... I don't think it's as bad as what it was early on when I played it. Now I've gotten rid of all the bugs. I still don't think it's that accurate. It's still pretty arcadey, but I think it will still be fun. I think it will still be fun. 
I'm hoping so anyway, because that's what we all want from, from video games, yeah? I tell you what, this was a golf shot, man. Seven feet away on the 17th at St. Andrews. This was a crazy golf shot. Oh, my God. That's a shocking putt. How did it break that much on those those beads up there by the by the hole? That's crazy. I was not expecting that. No problems there. That's a par. You at 17. Could have been closer. <laughs> Whipped that rubber perfectly. I just I just didn't see that much break in that putt. In Not in that it second part of that putt anyway. You call it nerd. Right, here we go, come on. The most famous structure in golf. I mean that looks cool as, doesn't it? That looks good. <laughs> yes, perfect. I'll keep over swinging though. Go on, get bounce on the car path. Ah, uh, you can't drive it much better than that. That's the quick pickup of the tee right down the middle. <laughs> oh, here comes the famous walk over the little bridge. So from a little more than 70 yards, this is second. Now, this is where we're struggling, isn't it? Pitch. Oh, we just need to pitch it right into that slope, don't we? We just need to pitch it right into there. So the wind's going right to left. We've got the hanging lie. Then we've got the bank banking going left. We just need to pitch it on that top bit. Nope. Nope. Slowed it. I slowed it. <sighs> Damn. Um, there are big margins of error while you're unskilled. Yeah, it would appear so chaotic race. I mean, we, we do need to obviously progress our character quite a bit. Uh, we don't have any shot types. The rollouts on, on these shots in particular, it's very, very difficult to get it um, on the number. Because you have so much roll and, and no control over anything, really. Like this shot here. Um, it's giving me a pitch shot. Now, there's not much difference between a pitch shot here or a chip shot, if you think about it. I mean, look how the chip shot's going nowhere. But how does a chip shot only go that that distance? I don't <laughs> See, I don't, I don't understand why that only goes eight, eight yards so it's it's a bit strange in places. I think we're gonna need to flop this one up, aren't we? Get it landing nice and soft, just to make sure we uh, we get this par. Get in! Oh! Uh, there are big margins of error while you are unskilled. Yep, this is a beautiful. It is a very very beautiful but very arcadey game. Yes, I agree. That's Perfect comment. Okay, I mean, look so at the size of the holes. It feels like you'll never miss a putt. <laughs> that will make this a uh, Snookerist loved the bridge. Yeah, the bridge was pretty cool. One last look at the leaderboard, Frank. Our featured golfer down, but not out. So day one. that's yeah, only day one. I think this is a four-rounder. Round. So that's it for us. For Frank, Noda... I, own I think it's a four rounder. It did say it was a four rounder, didn't it? Right. So here we go. This is this is what I wanted to have a look at. So we've literally. Okay. So we didn't start on level one, did we? Because that it's, it looked as if that started on level four. Then. I better hope you make the cut if there is one. Yeah, there should be a cut at minus two. Um, so we got 60 XP for greens and regulation. Oh, so obviously it's 10 XP for green and reg. Um, 
Oh, advanced green and reg. So what is that? Do, you, do we think advanced green and reg is... Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, what an idiot. I screwed that up, didn't I? Screwed that up. Yeah, rounds four. I screwed that up. I screwed that up. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I was going to really, really sort of break down the XP there. And I've, I've completely messed that up like a numpty. Right, so here we go anyway. Round two. So the lead is still at six under. But I like the way you've got like course previews. Um, yeah, with, within, yeah, advanced greens and regulations have got to be like a certain distance of the pin, right? And then just your standard greens and regulation, obviously you get le less XP. But then I didn't see what was a little bit further down because I was an idiot and I pressed the wrong button. But I like this, like how you can go through like a course book, like a yardage book. I think this is a really nice touch. I like extra bits of information like this. It's pretty cool. And then we've got all those coaching challenges there. Anyway, let's crack on. I feel like I feel like we could go low now. Uh, now we're starting, starting to get a hang of the roll. EA Sports, in conjunction with the RNA, so proud to spotlight golf's best amateur talent from around the globe. Today, we bring you coverage of the second round. 11.24 with Tian, look, guys. It's slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend. Uh, sure I've seen some people board. saying the swing lags. Controller moves different than what the player animation looks like it's doing. Yeah, it's, it feels like it's not a one-to-one. -one. I've explained that or said that a few right times in here. Right it almost feels like you need to push forward. And um, so anyway, hang on. Let me, let, me, let me readdress this. So when you pull the stick back, so from the minute you pull it back, there seems to be a delay in when the swing starts. Then when you get to the top where you should be pressing forward to start the downswing, it feels like if you wait for your swing to get to where the two, the swing would meet the bar, then you're going to be over. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be over. There seems to be a lag there. So you've almost got to press forward before your, your gauge comes up to meet that, that perfect 100%. Um, it, it doesn't feel like it's a one-to-one -to, -one to me. Now, I learned from the last time I played this hole not to hit a driver here because, believe it or not, I landed this ball at 258 and it landed in that little brook up there. So I'm actually going to play a three-wood this time. <laughs> right. Nice sunny day, though. I mean, graphically, it's gorgeous, guys, isn't it? It's beautiful. Um, Spoon reckons 20 XP per green in regulation. 1,000 per hole played. That's all I noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I just um, went short on that one because I didn't want to um, run through all the way up to that little, uh, yeah, that little that's stream. A beauty there to get this second round underway. But look at the roller. It rolls and rolls and rolls at St. Andrews. So after a well-placed drive, this is second from short range. Right, punch. I would imagine a punch is going to, uh, is going to roll out loads. Pitch. See, unfortunately, we can't really bring the shot back all that much. But because I know there's loads of roller on the pitch shots, I'm really having to flirt with the trouble. Because if we were to literally pitch it up here, because we're quite... Um, our character's not been built up at all. There's no way we can just stop a, a pitch dead. It would roll out like 10 yards. So we need to kind of just play to our, our weaknesses right now. Um... I just need to make sure we get over this, to be honest. That's fast. Oh, no, it's perfect. See, why has that gone right? Why did that ball kick so far to the right? That's what I don't understand. If you have a look at my feedback there, my um, my swing alignment looked pretty central. It didn't look like it was off to the right too much. I didn't fast or slow it. I don't think he needs to give uh, no home. practice range. I, do you know what? I didn't actually see it. That's a very good point. I will. When we get back to the main, when we finish this round, we'll go back to the main menu. And we'll, we'll let you guys have a little look what's in the um, in the menu there. But I can't recall seeing a practice round, which which is a bit of a bummer because back in the day, I used to love a practice range to get an idea of every single club, what the rollouts was, what the spin rate, you know, how wind is affected. And if practice range isn't there, it's a lot harder to sort of do that on the course because obviously you get 
a lot of different um you know different side lies kick lies all that sort of stuff so yeah it can be a bit hard can't it now we need to change that camera because that's there we go that's horrible camera that's better um right i don't know i'm going left edge because there's a little bit of a little bit of break there See, why is it continued to go left? <coughs> Boy, that's a good stroke. Just a why did that continue to go left? I don't understand that. Any better than that. Halfway along that putt, the beads are going right. That's kind of strange. Okay. I still think those holes are cut too big. Course. It doesn't look right. I keep right saying it looks like you're putting a marble into a bucket. Trying to get the round off to a good start. Frank, we're at the second hole and what's ahead? Well, the ideal tee shot, just uh, a little over that gorse bush in front of you, which is down the right side. That's the best angle in, but it also brings in a little bit of trouble. But um, if that uh, pin is anywhere right. towards the middle of this double green, then really you Where's want to be Where's the wind? That's oh, only right three miles side. an hour. Perfect swing again. I'm getting the perfects it's pretty good. Starting a little bit right. See, why has it gone that far right? I don't understand why it's another kicking off so much. For him to start the round as he gets another fairway here at the second. That's lovely drive. Got a good look at that pin now. 70 yards. All that's left. I think it must seconds. be because um so when I get to the tee box on the next hole, I think it must have something to do with this grey landing zone. Because it's quite wide on the driver, it can either, even if you play a perfect shot, I'm guessing it can be either on the far left or the far right. I guess the landing zone is quite randomised, like it used to be like 10 years ago. Um, so I'm guessing once you start putting points into your character, you can shrink the size of that landing zone, I would, have, I would assume. Uh, nine iron punch. We don't want to play that, do we? Uh, we got pitch shots. I'm going to play this because it should release. Should release. Ah, oh, fast at it. Should be okay, though. See, this is where the ball rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls. Look. So hard to judge out with this character. Um, the black shadow is the margin of error. Yes, yeah, it's, the, it's the landing work. zone, isn't it? It can be anywhere inside yeah, that. It's a long putt, so pace is important, but there's not a whole lot to it. I fancy the chances of getting this close. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get there. We'll, we'll start building it up. I mean, it's, it's pretty it's pretty cool. We'll, we'll get it done, but um, it's a bit. It's gonna be a grind, isn't it? Do you know what? This is pretty makeable. This is pretty makeable. Come on, turn left, turn left, turn left. Oh, you gotta be oh, kidding me. My goodness, that is not fair at all. What a putt from that distance. <sighs> Look at that. But go in the hole. That <laughs> God. Second, and he'll remain right where he is. At the third hole now, Frank, it looks relatively easy, but you know there's some danger lurking. If you guys want to see course. like the fly there buys, is, just let me know and I'll let them outside. play this through rather than really just speeding through things. You tell me what you want to see. Advice, you might want to be a little cautious and go to uh, the golf now. course, but if it's behind you. Well, then it's worth, worth challenging that right side. Oh, he's taking a big run at Come this. on, get a big bounce. Come on, get a bounce. Oh, come on. It's going to get up. It's going to get up. Oh, yes. Look at this shot. Look at this for a golf shot. Come on. Drivable par four. Not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just see some fire. Okay, on. let me see what one flower bar was out of the room. Okay, what a golf shot that is. is this for an eagle, too. Oh, 
Oh, it's, come on, come on, keep coming. Oh. oh, had the line. Had the line. So annoying. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third. Uh, I'm curious about the practice. I think well, it has one. I'm not on my Xbox, so I can't check it. It seemed this morning on the trial I was having issues getting right into it, though. The cut line. Like a much more not sure. Hole here at the fourth at the right, course. here you go. Yeah, have a, have a flyby. It's really made for a very hard par four. Um, two ways to play it. Down the right, that's a very, very narrow strip of fairway. Most will go to the left side, a little more conservative. But uh, either way, tough second shot. It looks lovely. It looks it looks fantastic. And look at the skybox. Look how good that skybox looks. I mean, look how large that grey area is. It is huge. Do you know what? Let's try a little like baby fade. Uh, sorry, baby draw. Oh, it's a shot. Yeah, the flybys are really good. I'm wondering if the uh, if the flybys are on every single course, all th all 30 courses, with the narration as well. That would be quite interesting. Or whether or not it's just like the key courses. It would be pretty cool if it was every single um, every single course, wouldn't it? Uh, so where's the wind behind? Okay, nine nine. It should push us a little bit. Um, it's not realistic, Tony. It would be raining like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Listen, Scotland has some nice weather. Oh, faster it! Oh, get down! Don't go long in the bunker, please. No, 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 no. no. That's okay. Uh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really. Outside chance for Bertie. See, this looks really uphill to me. And it's only it's only reckons it's one inch up. Where was the break? Got it there, but not... Where was the break? That didn't move one bit. <laughs> Come on. Okay, that one finished off. Four apart. And he'll remain three shots off the pace. All right, we're doing okay. Three under. Not bad. Oh, I should have let the, pl the flyby play through, shouldn't I? Sorry, guys. Um, well, you could, especially if you've got a little bit of breeze behind you, but um, it's quite wide in the drive. Right, here we go, we par five. Those three bunkers on the right that just sort of pop out, but um, if you can get it past those, this uh, this par five, very reachable. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a Look at this ball run. Look at it just run. Fine. It's just going and going and going and going and going. Now a big spot here for something good. This is a short second to the par five. Right, pod. seven iron. So we got a five wind behind. It's going to have to be that club, isn't it? It's going to have to be the eight. Oh, perfect swing. Come on. Ooh, nearly dunked it. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's fine. Got it's a chance of an eagle. Of that all the way there and got Should be a sun, birdie. Home in two on the par five. So after reaching this green in two, this a sizable putt for an eagle. Turnbull. 
Is it me or do the brakes not really play all that much? Not, it's not what I'm used to when I play golf games. Like when you get fast moving beads on 2K23, the ball breaks quite substantially. Nicely played. It's a birdie at the fifth. Uh, what camera settings are you using? Um, regarding, sorry, what you mean? The uh, the character camera position is what, when I'm on the tee, when I'm playing my shots and stuff. I'll go in the menus and you can have a little look. So, uh, settings. So, visual... So address camera, T to green low. Well, you can see what I've got there, look. Follow on on that and that. Actually, do you know what? For the putts and chip, I think I'm going to... I wonder what pro would be. I wonder what pro means. I don't know what pro would mean. Any idea what pro means there for the shot tracking? Does it mean it just stays behind the pro? It just stays on me? Must be. Uh, ball tracer I've turned off. Whole flyby. Big hit moments I've yeah got enabled. VFX. I don't... I think VFX... I guess that means visual... But I think that's probably all the fireworks and everything. I think that's what that is. We've turned that off. I think that was actually default. And then obviously I've got... Uh, resolution, frame rate, yeah, everything's pretty much at ultra. Um, ultra 4K, advanced hair, all that normal stuff, but yeah. That's the camera settings. Right. Uh, where's the wind? Four behind. Should be able to bomb this one down there. Oh, slow there. It's got to go right. Stay on. Stay on. It's got to go left when it gets to the top. Stay. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Uh, you find it very hard so to see the beads sometimes. Yeah, I think the beads need to be different colours. I mean, obviously, they are for the extreme breaks and elevation changes like you've got there in front, but I think they need to be a uh, more varied color for the actual flatter areas, I think. Um, uh, the gameplay of 2K23 with these visuals, absolutely spot on two cows. Yeah, that is a great statement. That is a great statement. 2K23 is definitely the better golf game. This might be the better all-round package, but I think 2K23, the swing, the ball physics, the way... Everything plays. It just feels like a better golf game. But this is probably going to be arguably have a bigger package. Being EA, they've got a bigger budget. Oh, well, I have to say, I mean, 2K is quite a, a big company, isn't it? Big developer, aren't they? Uh, I'm pretty dead with this shot, actually. I am pretty dead here. I've got no room to to drop this ball. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm 96 to 100%, aren't I? So, uh, we're pretty dead here. There's no stopping this ball. No stopping this ball. When the ball rolls into the rough, the grass should move a little. Um, it's, it's it's sometimes on, it does spoon. When you go into the rough, you see often down. you see the big blades of grass. They actually go down. You like 2K, but the swing, the yeah, swing is incredibly that inconsistent. Back. That's why I've started using three click on 2K23, and since I've started moving using two click, it's actually felt really. It's felt more of a golf game to me, if that makes sense. It just you get rid of those inconsistencies. Like, I know very well when I swing a fast stick and a slow stick. And sometimes you can play 20 exactly the same tempos and you'll have a very slow or a very fast. It, there's no consistency with that game whatsoever. Um, I think these guys that keep it in perfect perfects all the time have got some sort of controller, like configuration set or something where it, it helps hit the perfect so you get rid of those, the massive band of variation, do you know what I mean? Because there's no way you can, you know, back-to-back -back perfects all the time like these guys do it's just that game is just too inconsistent on the controller 
Right. Um, now, these haven't been really moving as much as what I thought. So, we've got 10 inches up. <clears throat> We're going to go 49, 59. That's short. That's short. Yeah, that's a little more uphill than you think. And that's going to come up a bit short. Uh, this is where I don't trust this game. Sometimes the brakes feel like they don't move. It's a solid round so far, though. Uh, considering our alternatives, 2K was about the only choice until now. Yeah, that's what I've said to loads of people. That gave me a load of grief when I was sort of saying about my concerns about this game when they put out the original um, gameplay videos. <coughs> Everybody thinks I'm like some sort of 2K23 fanboy. No, I play that because it was the only golf game before this golf game came out. Now this golf game's out, I will more than likely be playing this golf game. People see what they want to see, don't they? Uh, right. Now, I don't want to hit this. I'm going to just play this three wood again. I'm just going to short swing that one because I went into the bunker last time. <clears throat> That's a better shot. Good break got him here. Now his second to the par four. I just wish we had some shot types that we could actually use. But that would get us on the pins. Oh, this should be good. Should be a good shot. Sit down, ball. How has that gone that long? Like, uh, see, see how the ball's oscillating there on the green? Chance. It just, it looks kind of weird. Third. It almost looks as if the ball is like a ping pong ball. At times it looks like it's floating above the grass level. Oh, come on. I had loads of break on my feet. That's what I've got to learn with this game, is the, the how, how the beads affect the putts. It doesn't seem to really react. That one finished off. It's in for par. And he'll stay a couple of shots off the lead. Frank, now at the par three eighth, and how challenging is this? Obviously, the leaders aren't out yet. They tee off a little bit later. That's a nice touch. I like that. It's a pretty good touch. So the cut line is minus three at the minute. Right, where's the wind? In our face. Okay. Come on, let's have a good shot. Let's get this close. I mean, that's really gone out to the right. That's going to be on the putting surface and a birdie look straight ahead. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a oh, putt it's one. Birdie. It's a combination of Is that one foot downhill. Oh, my goodness. Putt, right to left down a steep slope. Got to be careful. Wow. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth. And he'll right, we're kind of just sort of loitering just around the cut line here, aren't we? I mean, these guys don't actually get out until later, so we need to we need to kind of maybe post seven or eight under. Here we go. We should be able to get this over here. Let's um let's shake this over. We can get this ball sort of getting coming through the middle. Where's the wind? Okay. 
Let's overswing this one quite a bit. Two percent over. Well, that's on a pretty good line so far. It's going to be a long putt, but it is a putt all the same. Pin high, look. Look at this. It's not a bad shot. What a display of power and precision off the tee. On the green here on the par four in one. Oh, my goodness. One feature of so many of these older British courses, the oversized greens, and this, a long look for eagle. I think I'm just going to hit it straight, you know. Uh... I'm just gonna hit it straight. Come on, get in. Ah, oh, we would have had it. Yeah, that's really well. <sighs> that distance, you'll take it every time. We would have had it. Easy as can be. It's a tap in birdie here. At the uh, I think it's just your character That's accuracy rating making the ball slightly so left. Side. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, buddy. Hundred percent, definitely is. Starting off the backside here at St Andrews with the 340-yard par four tenth, named in honor of the great Bobby Jones, 1927 Open champion and 19. Just gonna go in and just um, change my right audio effects one feet. second, so I can put the volume up a little bit louder, but not drown you guys out. Is drivable. Um, oh, one second. This is kind of weird the way that this works. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Right, audio. So menu music. I want the flyby music. Where's the flyby music? Gameplay music? Got to be that one, isn't it? Let's turn that down a little bit. 40, gameplay sound effects. We'll leave that up. Core sound effects, commentary, crowd. We'll leave all that up. That's fine. All right, and then I'll turn my volume up. Because I had it quite low because I didn't want to drown you guys out with the music. Because the flyby music's bloody loud. All right, let's turn that... Turn that up so you can hear the effects a little bit better. Never up, never in. You're dead right, snookerist. I thought I gave it a couple extra as well. Oh, that's bloody loud. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday oh, to no. get set up for the weekend. And that, another good drive here. I'll have to change these audio levels when I'm off stream just so I can get it all set up right. Not your standard approach here. This, his second from behind the green. Yeah, putting is weird. The animation's uh, really strange. <laughs> Very, very strange. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. This is an 11 foot putt. All right, now these haven't been moving at all. So, you wait. I'm not going to give this as much as what I think it would, it deserves. And I bet you I'll miss this one on the low side. Okay, okay. well done. A couple of birdies here sandwiched around the turn at 9 and 10. And that's going to move him to 6 under par. There we go. Type of the lead. Now to the par 3 11th. And Frank, what's the key here? Well, this uh, green is slightly elevated. Huge false front. Right, do not go in that bunker. Because <laughs> that's going to kill my score if I go there. I'm just going to play right sure, between so the that two. Bunker on the left is called Hill. That's the famous Take bunker the where Bobby Jones couldn't get out of it many years ago and actually ripped up his scorecard. So a good tee shot here. Just find that right level where the flag is. Hey, Iron, where's the wind? Oh, that's pretty. That's not too bad. Oh, look, that's perfect. That was almost perfect, perfect. Okay, took on the flag there, and it's going to leave a decent look at birdie. A birdie wow. from here. 199 down. <laughs> wow, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Oh. 
Should go left now, should go left. How does it not turn left for the last four grids? They were all going left. I think the pattern's going to take a little bit of understanding. And he'll remain at six under par. Frank, the charm of St. Andrews, the history of the old course, it all sort of comes into view here at the 12th, doesn't it? Yeah, very pretty hole. Eden Estuary to the right. Obviously, a, a nice view of the township of St. Andrews in the distance. But I'll be uh, really intrigued to know if they do this flyby with a narration on every all single course. All I've got to do is worry about that little pop bunker short, but. Um, Either into the breeze, or if you're not along, that's 30 worry courses. About those four bunkers that are well placed, <laughs> smack bang in the middle of this fairway. Right, can we get it over the corner? Where's the wind in our face? Unfortunately, that bunker is just waiting for us there, isn't it? <laughs> kick right, kick right. Long drive, but a bad lie. A uh, wicked. Huh. It is in the rough, but it appears to be a pretty good lie. Should have a go at this. Here's a second now at the 12. Uh, that's not bad. Do you know what? This will work. Look how flat that is on top. We just got to get this ball on top of that, on that table. Come on, get on that table. Sit, 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 sit. No, can't stop that. That's annoying. This is where I don't like the game. I think this is very clumsy and clunky. Just seems like that you just can't stop that ball with a uh, beginner character. Again, this should be dead straight. Oh, that'll bring a wry smile. A very good uh, does anyone know if pre-order early access means being able to He'll play the whole right game three days earlier, whether it's just the same ten-hour trial? Now to the par four thirteenth, and again, Frank, um, it's all about avoiding the bunkers. Pre-order early access. It depends. Did you buy the deluxe or the? Well, I guess you would have to buy the deluxe, yeah, because right the trial's got nothing to do with what, what you buy. You do, the trial's you free. Shot in, but uh, you've got to avoid those fairway bunkers. They are very costly. Uh, there's. No shot you land that on the top of that ridge and it rolls off the green. That is by far a horrible miss by EA. Yeah, I mean, don't forget this. Just because this character doesn't have a shot that could have got me there was spin. <clears throat> That's the only reason that happened. Go on, get up. Oh, just looking for a strong finishing <laughs> kick here on this Friday. To what a great members bounce that was. And that another good drive here. From the fairway, Noda, this uh, April is the 4th second. at midnight. He's got a okay. I, I mean, I haven't bought the du deluxe. I haven't bought any of them yet. I'm just right basically using the, the trial while I can. Um, well, we don't want to punch up, do we? Now, can we see? I'm a little bit worried. Guess we do this. Slowed it. That's going to be short, isn't it? Unless it gets that little slope. Not bad, not bad. Uh, the answer shouldn't always be character not That's developed. A good shot. At some point, realism still needs to be A green and regulation, so yeah. birdie chance. Yeah, that's a fair point. Get in. 
Oh, the pace perfect on that one. It's in for birdie. And that is going to push him into the lead here on this Friday. Takes the lead. Frank, what are we looking at here at the big par 5 14? Out of bounds on the right, and those little series of pop bunkers called the beatings. Now, if you get in trouble here, I wish the camera wouldn't rotate around the golfer for my putts. Left, which is the fourth fairway. I need to figure out how to stop it doing that. Five. But a good tee shot. I don't like that at all. At this for two. Uh, visual. So shot tracking, putt. So let's change up to pro. Putt and chip. Shot tracking, tee to green. Tee to green can follow. That's fine. Settings are saved. Yeah, okay. Let's see if that has helped. Right, we're going to do a little... Uh, a little fade here, I think. Oh, that didn't really fade, did it? That's in trouble. Just what you want at this point in the round. You that really has to stop. Rhythm, Come on, hit stop. Fairways, hit the stop. middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Um, What is that arc playing with grids? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Darth. What is that? Arc? What, this blue arc here? Oh, this is this is up. This is up all day long. Come on, baby. Okay, I fasted a little bit. Kick left. Come on. Hit it. Kick left. Come on. Get down there. Oh, what a golf shot. Come on. Stay. Ah. Damn it. Had half the equation <sighs> on that shot, the distance, not quite the accuracy. Missed now we got to play this to right. stupid thing yeah, again, not haven't quite we? A foul ball, kept it in the ballpark, and well, let's see how good you can chip. Not very good is the answer to that question, because it's bloody hard. Get in! Oh. chance now for another birdie yeah i'm not sure if it's a uh if it's a worldwide um release all at the same time or whether it's not sort of regional oh there we go find i can yeah, stop that bloody part. camera from spinning around all the time room. so you need to set it to pro and, and it stops doing that Thank God for that, because now I can see how much it's actually turning on the brakes, on the beads. So you get an idea where that camera sort of follows it and spins. It's hard to know how much it's breaking. So, you know, if you've overdone it or, or not done it enough. Exactly. There's a, a nice line there in between the two humps that you can see in front of you off the tee. If you keep looking down, you'll see the church steeple. That's the perfect line for the tee shot. Got to be careful with the second shot coming up. Um, you see the 16th tee and out of bounds to the right of this green and that little uh -oh. bunker that protects the front. That one looking a little right. Get down off it. Get down off it. I think that was the exact same shot I played in the first round. Well, that was 50-50 off the tee. Rough fairway. I guess it was more than 50-50. Fairway's fine. Uh, let's have a look. Got wind in our face again. That should be fine. Oh, this has got to be a shot. This has got to be on it. Has to be on it. <clears throat> yes. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Is the private, uh, six private feet online for play? Hoping to get in a few rounds with the fellas tonight. Um, I'm, um, in the menu, I think there is, Ryan. I'm not too sure if you can play it in the trial. I, I honestly don't know. When I finish this round, though, I can go back to the main menu and let you guys have a look. You got any questions? We can have a little look together. Now, how much is this one going to move? Oh, how 
about the run here. Here we go. A third consecutive birdie. And he's opened up a two shot lead here in round two. Yeah, that's very true, Spoon. Frank, the 16th hole, there was a time in my life when I was in fourth grade, I would have really enjoyed hitting the principal's nose. But that's not a good thing here. Well, I'd like to think you graduated past fourth grade, but got a nice um, little streak going did, now. Three and you'd three on the spin. Very aware of the principal's nose. You'd hit it left, it'd be a little longer in for your second shot. Oh, perfect again. Yes, here we go. Oh no! Don't go in there. Whew. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend, and that another good drive here. So from a little more than 70 yards, this is second. All right, 74. Four into our face. Can we go? Ah, oh, so we can only go 60 wedge. Should we try what a punch shot does? Let's have a little look at a punch shot for shits and giggles. Oh, dear me. Oh, oh. Whoa! <laughs> ah, stop! <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting it to do that. <laughs> oh, dearie me. I don't think we're going to be 900 for much longer. Jeez. Oh, no, don't go long. Do not go long. What did I say? Do not go long. <sighs> Why do the pitch shots release so much? All right, that's a board, but a lot of green between ball and hole. Two feet. I was going to say, this no, might be coming back to me because I missed hit my line down the bottom. Oh, this is turning into an absolute mess. Coming up from about eight feet. This is turning into a mess. <laughs> this is where the game becomes so cool sometimes. It's like those those beads on your feet around the okay. ball they just do so not that one finished they off. do not do they anything whatsoever and that'll drop him back down to seven under uh, i wasn't Here very excited for that part at all i think i've been Rolling playing other golf games far too long when you choose a punch shot and the punch shot still goes about you know 60 70 feet in the air the i wasn't expecting that one to go right and scuttling along deep the ground like that not to mention uh, at least now we know don't we devilish jeez Okay, come on. We've got to go birdie birdie now, finish. Oh, that's really slow. 2.6%. <clears throat> Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here. Uh, they don't because the ball nukes off. But that's very true. Yeah, maybe I should just forget about what From the, the, the lawyer is doing, where the ball is, is and just concentrate on Well, it's 128 the yards putt. left to the flag to date. Wind into the face, so you'll definitely need to account for that. Yeah, I'm going to. Just going to stick it just up onto this flat. It didn't help that I slowed and underswung it as oh, well. Man, it looked good initially, but rolled off the green in fact. Yeah, see, this is where it just away. falls apart, That's I think. Things. It just doesn't give you enough options. I mean, luckily for us, we've got one here. We just need to get these shot types unlocked, don't we, really? Right, so I'm not going to play too much into these this time. Yeah. 
See, that is nope. just so that is weird. Get there. That 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 just sums up how bad the pattern physics are for me. It's just the way that that ball slowed up was ridiculous. I played it two, three inches behind that hole, hit the line, and just the way it that it almost felt like it was just it was, it was putting that in mud. And That's what that felt like to me. It just up a shot didn't back. go anywhere, straight off the putt ahead. It was kind of weird. Well, this is when you just want to soak in, pull out your phone, take some pictures, the RNA clubhouse in the distance. Oh, mate, we've thrown this out. We've thrown, thrown this away, haven't we? Just 357 this has yards, been a really bad open. finish. Uh, the Valley of Sin, maybe you drive it down there. Um, when you walk over the Swilkin Bridge... Let's have a big, stop, big overswing on this one. Pictures, and you're going to tuck those away for a long time. This is a special finishing hole. It's not just a hole. It's an experience. Should have the opportunity to flop it, shouldn't we? I think we're close enough. Oh, here comes that little walk over the bridge again. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second. This part. Ah, we're not close enough for the flop. That's annoying. God, we're gonna have to pitch it then. It's just, it's just impossible these shots. Because I'm having to play it so close to that hill just to stop it anywhere near the pin. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. Wow, we kind of threw that away at the end there, didn't we? Here in this second round. Oh my so God! Our featured golfer so they finished on minus twelve. First two days safely through to the weekend. Jeez. Squarely in the conversation. Right, let's have a Rich close look at the, um, the XP we get from this this time. And, uh, could make it extremely exciting come Sunday. So that should just about do it for all of us. I feel like that was a better round than the first one, though. We're definitely getting the hang of it. Right, here we go. Round complete. So. So we got 100 XP for the greens, advanced greens and regulation. Long drive, 9. Greens and regulation, 15. Okay, so we got 19,000 points. So where did we start that um, that round? I think we were on level 5, weren't we? Or level 6? So we did jump levels quite a lot there, actually. Oh, there's more down the bottom. Birdies, 8 birdies. Pars, pass saves, breaking back, close approach. So there's quite a lot you can um, gain XP on. I mean, look at that. You get 18,000 for completing an 18 holes. That seems crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, Spoon. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Does that not seem crazy to you? You get 18,000 XP for completing 18 holes. That's mental. Right, so let's go back and have a look at our, at our golf. Right, let's have a look. So somebody was asking about... Okay, so while we're back here... <coughs> so obviously we've got competitive head-to-head -head online. Uh, so at the minute, it looks like you can only do these in the in the, uh, in the the trial. So we can get um, Augustus Aim and Corner. So what's that? 9, 10, 11, 12, isn't it? Or something? And then we get random nine holes, tour difficulty... Uh, and then we've got challenges. Take on a variety of unique challenges. So we've got 75 challenges. Uh, 582 championship moments. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. My goodness. Um, right, social, meet players in low stakes online games. Okay, again, we're limited to what we can choose. And then obviously we've got the tournaments, which I don't think will probably be live right now. 
Let's have a look. Global leaderboards. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, so you can play them. But so we've got daily tournaments. Uh, four holes, four holes, four holes. And then we've got nine holes tour. Then we've obviously got weekly tournaments. All 18 tour. Eight days. Uh, seasonal tournaments. So there's quite a lot in the tournaments. And then you've got the private match there. So that'll be obviously just your custom matches. Stroke play. Uh, 2 to 16 players. So I think that's where you see like other players on the golf course. Uh, they should have made the uh, holy offline grinds. Yeah, massive grinds. They should have made the green grid and dots disappear after having made the putt. Or give the players the option to toggle it off. Yeah, it might well be in there, um, media. Right, let's have a look at the golfer. So let's go to golfer. See, we haven't done any of this yet. So how many points have we got? So we've got 16 points by the look of it up top right. Now, I think we're going to need to get some points on some of these. Approaches are going to be pretty important, I think. Because we've we got no... And short game. We've got no ability to do anything right now. So, where do we go? So, we've got accuracy. Why can't I go up to accuracy? Hello? Hello? A accuracy? Hello? Please, EA? Please, EA. Can't for some reason choose accuracy. <laughs> okay, it, it doesn't like me choosing the top one for some strange reason. On any of them. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Very weird. Uh, 16 G shots neat short game control for sure. Yeah, yeah, short game and approach definitely. Um, I just don't understand why we can't get the accuracy up there. Can I use the mouse? Yeah, so I can use the mouse to go up there. So why can't I use the D pad? Oh, now it's going up there. Now look. What the hell? Oh, is it maybe because? Okay, it was probably because my cursor, my pointer was probably on, on one of these, and maybe it just wouldn't let me go up. It might have been something like that. It might be just the position where the, the cursor was. Um, EA early access. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Right, let's do these short games. So, control. What do we got here? So, this is... Runner? We don't want that. We want something with spin, don't we? Spinner. There we go. A low-flying, high-spin pitch shot that lands and checks quickly. That's what we need. That is what we need. It's going to cost us five to get there, though. What's this one? Pick. That's bunker. And then we've got spinner... Wait, why is there two spinners? Oh, spinner. Okay, so we've got so we've got bronze, and then we've got silver, and then okay, then this one right at the end we get gold. That's pretty neat. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Well, let's go for the first spin shot, and then we're going to get runner and pick unlocked as well at the same time. But I think spinner is going to be pretty important. So we're going to use five points on that one. Right, um, poor. just out of curiosity, what's on putting? Increases the miss hit tolerance window and decreases the impact of off-plane swings. Okay, uh, my putting's pretty accurate to be fair. I'm going to leave that to last. That's not important. Um, approach, I'm going to want some control on my approach shots. Increases natural spin, the amount of post-shot spin that can be applied. And shot shaping ability of all approach shot types. So that's mega important. Uh, so a finesse shot. A shot that takes a bit of power off. In order to help with gaps in between distance of clubs. That's quite good. And we've got a knockdown. And a long flop. Long flop. Here we go. That's a bit naughty, doesn't it? Get your long flop on. High flop. Oh, mate. Uh, so how many? We've got 11 points here. This is where it's at, isn't it? Oh, I kind of want that one, but that's seven points. Do we want to go all the way up there straight away? Just, I want these shot types. Yeah, flops massively come in handy. A, a high flop. 
I'm going to go for that and then get everything up to that point. And we should have, what, five points left now? Six points? Five points. Uh, recovery, I'm not too bothered about. I'd like to do accuracy to shrink the size of that gray, um, that gray bar. Increases the miss hit tolerance window, decreases the impact of off plane swings, and decreases the shot dispersion of all approach shot types. Power approach and pick, knockdown. Okay. Do we want... Oh, shoot. My bad. Do we want someone on accuracy? On power, maybe, even? Max distance of shots. What do you reckon, guys? Uh, <clears throat> Alright, this system has me excited, but also worried for multiplayer. I think it's possible to max everything. Um, I don't know. What, what do we reckon max level would be? Not sure. I wouldn't have thought so because if you have a look at the um so if we go back if we go to just play a quick round and we choose a pro so if we just choose anything for now so if you look at scotty scheffler so he's a 92 overall and look where all of his stats are so one two three four does that mean he's does that mean he's put 92 points into his character one, two three I think that means he's put 92 points in. Because <clears throat> each one's 10. Uh, power would help for some of those par fours. Yeah, maybe. I hope it doesn't affect online ranked games as bad as your full cheating ball. Mate, I, cheating balls, I, I, yeah, don't get me started on cheating 2K23 balls. I just don't understand how anybody can have a, an online ranked system and allow people to play premium golf balls. It is beautiful that when you absolutely dominate somebody that's using aviator balls, when you're using default uh, shitty golf balls. <laughs> Right, let's go back anyway. So yeah, I think... I, I, yeah, there's no way you can max out a character, I don't think. Uh, right, where are we going? Golfer. Let's go back into the golfer. Just maybe going to go... I don't know. I think I'm just going to split these on, uh, on accuracy. And short game accuracy, maybe. So what have we got? We've got two points. Right, that's all our points used. So we've, we've unlocked some, some shot types, haven't we? So that's going to be key. And then down the bottom right, you can see the course fit. Um, obviously, we've, uh, we've amped up the approach in the short game. And what we got here? We got equipment. I oh, keep so these bumper buttons annoy me. Right, golfer equipment. <coughs> so what have we got? We got driver. I mean, we can change. We can edit the bag. Have we? We haven't unlocked anything yet, have we? Straps. Let's have a bit of color, boys. How? Covers? <laughs> Utility head covers and part of cover. Obviously, we haven't bought anything yet. We haven't got anything unlocked. Oh, there's loads in there, isn't there? There's loads in there. Uh, can you see what about the coaching was? Yeah, of course you can. Um, uh, I think it was under qu uh, quests, wasn't it? Where was it again? My bad. 
Alpha. I, I can remember seeing it, but I can't remember where it was. Was it in the? It was in the career, wasn't it? But I'm wondering if we can get to the coaching through here. Uh, hey, King Javo. Hello, mate. Welcome. Long time no see, mate. We used to play on uh, Tiger Woods back in the day. Uh, can you share? I mean, yeah, it's it's very arcadey. Uh, it's there's a lot in the game. I think career is going to be pretty cool. Leveling up the golf is going to be pretty cool. Um, there's lots of nice touches, but it's far from perfect. The golf balls react very very strangely. The rollouts are kind of weird. The bounces are a bit quirky. The putting animation is a bit rough. Um, yeah, the the swing doesn't really link up one to one with your shot stick. Um, Scheffler looked a mess, mate. Yeah, <laughs> Scheffler looked a mess. I don't know if you saw my video I posted a couple of weeks ago. Well, about a week ago on, on Scotty Scheffler. <laughs> I don't know what I went on with Scotty Scheffler. One, that doesn't look like him. And two, that's not Scotty Scheffler's golf swing. There's no Scheffler shuffle there. He doesn't move his feet when he, whenever he drives. I mean, that's what he's known for, right? That's pretty much his signature. Everybody knows what his feet do when, he, when he's got a tea, uh, driver in his hand. But yeah, I just don't understand what happened to Scheffler, but... <clears throat> uh, yeah, we used to... I think we used to play loads, buddy. I mean, we were all around, weren't we? From 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way through, pretty much, weren't we? Uh, under challenges. Right, under challenges. Cool, thank you very much. That's what I was waiting for, uh, buddy. So where is it? Coaching Academy. Here we go. So PGA Coaching. PGA Coach Skills Trainer. And Trackman. So, PJ Coaching, learn the basics or master advanced shot making these challenges. Do you want me to go and have a quick look at one or? I don't know if these, I don't know if these unlock as you're going along. So the basic challenge, earn stars in sequence to unlock these reward packs. So star criteria, get one fairway in reg, get two fairway in regs, get five fairway in regs. Swing basics. Let's start off on the T and just work. Okay. So it looks like these are actual little challenges, little drills that you can do. I guess. Yeah. So it looks like you actually just start all these for XP. And then we can get... Okay, so yeah, I mean, dude, there's going to be loads in here, man. There's going to be loads, isn't there? Chip shots, pitch shots, flops, blast, punch, power, stingers. So it's all the different shot types. So they're probably going to be, they're obviously, yeah, they're all challenges. Look, land five balls on the green. So there's going to be loads in here, guys. Advanced drawing. Yeah, there's loads to do, boys. Loads to do. Should we just pick a quick one and have a quick look? So let's just go for the very, very basic one. Swing basics. Start round. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. Um, so let's go and catch up with some of this chat. Uh, can uh, also help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Jawa. Yeah, remember that. Under challenges. Yep. Scheffler reminded me. I mean, Scheffler, some of the characters look like they're Sims characters, don't they? Just upgraded a little bit. Uh, I'd love to see a round at Whiston Straits, Tara Ati, or Bandon Dunes. Teeth of the Dog. Okay. Um, I mean, I am doing my my career, but if you want me to go and do a single player round, I can do. Right, let's have a little look. So, we just got to land on, uh, on the fairways three times, I think. So, get one fairway in reg, two fairway in reg, get all five fairway in regs. So, this should be pretty straightforward, right? So, can we just not, can we just do a three wood and just land it up there like that in the big fat part? Can we, can we just bang one up there like that? <laughs> Does that count for one? Because <laughs> that seems very simple. Okay, yeah, so we got one, so we don't have to use a driver. Okay, so that's uh, pretty straightforward, guys. 
just tonk one up there. Okay, we're just gonna speed through this. So yeah, you get the uh, you get the oh ooh, you get the idea of the challenge. Yeah, we're just gonna hammer through these ones. Three iron. There we go. Pretty straightforward, right? It, I mean, it would have been better if they forced you to use like a particular club. Like as the as the stars went up, you would have to. Maybe you could start with a three iron, and then you had to use a three wood, and then you would have you had to use the driver for the very last attempt. Do you know what I mean? For the fifth attempt to get up there on the uh, on the very narrow part of the fairway. That seems like that would be uh, a better way to do it. Cuz there's no there's not much challenge in really doing this, is there? Yeah, oh, perfect, perfect. Hello. So there's there's quite a bit of grind there. There you go. So I'm guessing we just get the uh, the XP for that. Earn 10 stars in the sequence to unlock these reward packs. Okay. So if you get 10 stars, you get the first XP, then 20, you get the second one, and then 30, you get the last one. So yeah, bit of grinding. <clears throat> so what do, you, what do you want me to, Steve? Whistling rates, Tara Itty or Bandon Dunes? Do you know what? I, I don't even know. I know Whistling Straits and I know Bandon Dunes. I've never heard of Tara Itty. So. You asked for it. You asked. We should deliver. Uh, can we go back the other way? No, we can't. Hopefully this is... No, it's not. It would have been nice if that was uh, alphabetical. Tara it Itty. There we go. Oh, Harbour Town's in as well. Nice. Oh, Banff Springs. Off to Canada. Lovely. That's a great course. Right. Where was it? Let's, uh, let's go to New Zealand. Right. Obviously, you can pick pros. But uh, we're just going to just going to use our character seeing as we've, that's what we've been using uh stunningly beautiful course designed by tom doak uh the size of the club heads annoy me they are too big yeah have you seen the size of the hole as well the size it's massive it's, it's like a bucket So I'm guessing we're still going to earn XP the by South doing this. Pacific and the island nation of New Zealand, EA Sports, so proud to welcome you to Tara Edie Golf Club in our continuing coverage of the world of golf. With the native son of New Zealand, one of the Kiwi golfing legends, Frank well, it's Nabilo, quite, uh, It's quite I'm open, quite undulating, isn't it? With a little bit of... Oasis. Of got the old waste, wasteland. So it wasn't around when you were rolling through this country's amateur events, but... What I'm just letting the fly by just there. Uh, just well go through, just so you can uh, um, have a little look. The conditions. Get a flavour of it. renowned for having four seasons in a day. So if you think you're going to be playing dome-like conditions, you're not. But the course is built for that, so just embrace a little bit of a wind change, maybe during the course of the day. Be very aware where it's coming from, because that's really what you have to negotiate. And that is right where you want to be. His drive splits the middle to get this round underway. Yeah, you. I think that they they definitely have some patching, some updating to do. Hopefully they're they're quite right active on some of the criticisms. The par four. Hopefully they're not just gonna be EA and, and just do their own thing. Because the game the game definitely does uh 
it definitely does need some patching for sure. Um, how does the gameplay feel at 30 fps? No idea. I, I wouldn't like to play at 30 fps, dude. <laughs> uh, this is on PC. This is uh, 120 fps. Right, what have we got? So we've got Wedge. So do we have... So we got a knockdown. And then... So we have the finesse now. Well, that's cool. So let's try the, the... Let's try the finesse shot in here, shall we? Oh, underswing. Loads. That's terrible shot. In golf, you know, you've heard the, the sound. The, I mean, love that, a duo the sound there, effects are pretty, pretty poor as well, to be honest, aren't they? They range. are not very good sound effects. Oh, right, we need to change this camera. How do we get down? RB. Right. Oh. Ah, that's a half a ball away from going in. Very well read. Not a bad putt. Not a bad putt. So that about as stress-free a start as you can have. It's a part. Uh, will be updated to 60 FPS on consoles after release, though. I don't know. I've not. I've not read anything about 60 FPS on console, unless they're doing some sort of. Um, like graphical choice between performance or quality maybe the performance will be 60 and then the quality will have all the, the bells and whistles and but that will stay at 30 maybe they'll do something like that but i've not i've not read anything about that um are you playing through the deluxe edition no this is just the um the 10 hour free trial on uh game pass through the ea app uh because i do um uh game pass ultimate on pc i i i'm part of the ea um I don't know what you call it. I don't, I don't know what it's called now, but I get the ability to, to play the trial for nothing. Um, not confirmed. I know they're looking at it. My worry is the graphics will take... Yeah, I would imagine so. If Listen, if, the, if, if, they, if they've not given you 60 FPS on a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X out of the gate, surely there's a reason for that. Those consoles are mega powerful for consoles. And they should be doing 60 FPS in today's day and age. Um, easy. It's not It's not that visually spectacular, is it, to be honest with you? So I don't understand why they haven't made it 60 FPS. I'm not sure. Um, Apex Hound confirmed they are working on 60 for consoles. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's something. I mean, I wouldn't like to play this game at 30. I wouldn't like to play any game at 30. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? What so we've got one mile an hour. What can we do? I don't like... So what I don't like is I, I don't like the wording on some of these as well. So like, five iron, drive. Why not just call that a normal shot? Like, even if you go to a wedge. Why, <laughs> why have they used the terminology drive, drive for wedges? Just, just call it a normal shot. Right, let's try hitting the finesse in here. Um, oh, perfect, perfect. Come on, get on the number. Why has that gone so long? Why, why did that go so long? Yeah, just not enough spin on that. Um, really, I mean, that almost like took that first bounce. Uh, and just right, blast! Forward. Oh my goodness, look at this. Can, can, am I not allowed to go up and have a little look at this? Why can't I have a look at where this is landing? Um, how do we do that? Oh, there we go. Gee whiz, we're gonna have to like literally just land up here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, oh my goodness, right. So, so yeah, a lot of chat there. Quick that was um, very difficult to get that to stop, even out of the sand. I think the majority of us are looking for right Yeah, you, you won't find Simon in the A title, not in my opinion. <coughs> I mean, that's what kind of upsets me the most, to be honest with you. I mean, they had the potential here to make a really outstanding golf game, I think. And there's just so many areas that are pretty weak. And it's definitely not a sim game. It's it's very arcadey. Everything about it is very arcadey. Sadly. I mean, I am a huge sim golfer. <laughs> it's what I wanted. I think it's why I was quite frustrated in my first stream early on today. Um, I didn't really enjoy my first look at it. Uh, it left me feeling a little bit underwhelmed. Well, quite a bit underwhelmed. I mean, I'm enjoying it a little bit now. But, yeah, it's not quite there if you want Sim. Oh, baby. No. If you want Sim. Uh, he also said that they are aware of that the golf ball looks too small. Yes. Yeah, I mean, look at it here against the hole. It looks like, it looks like a damn bucket. Plus one in the early going. Uh, it's stated Onto officially the on the age web. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, free clicks meant to be coming um, via an early update, isn't it? That's what I read back in whenever it was, start of the year, January, February or something. I did read that. Uh, well, we're, we're beta tape, be or beta or beta, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it, but we're obviously beta testers, aren't we? Right, what have we got? Par 4, 4, 5, 2. Where's the wind? Off the right. It's only two miles an hour. I wish they do some of these sound effects. I mean, that ball wants to stop running. Okay, good job. Nope, that wasn't the right line. And good job. Price as this ball gonna run off the fairway. All right, one twenty-nine. What have we got? Eighty to ninety percent. So let's go. Oh, we're not gonna be able to get. It. Oh, dearie me. I think we're just going to have to take our medicine here. Nine, nine iron. All right, 3.3 .3 degrees above our feet. So it's going to go right to left. Could be a golf shot, this. Could be a golf shot, this. Oh, yes. Oh, that took some guts too. Yeah, driver sounds way strike. better. All the clubs sound better in 2K23. You get it inside 10 feet. Some doing. This is where I'm not sure on what's happening with the golf ball. It just doesn't run true, in my opinion. Yeah. Good speed right there. First birdie of the round here at the third. And he bounces back from the bogey on two to get back to level par. Oh, blimey. We've got a choice of sides to go. <clears throat> well, this looks like the favorite, doesn't it? This side here. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll fade one. Fade one around. Just to be on the safe side. And that will do just fine. The balls roll so much on the fairways. Bounce back birdie, you love to see it. So after the big drive, this... A short approach right, so what choices? Four. So here's the spinner luck, guys. So this is the new shot that we unlocked. So do we need to go slightly long? Do you know what? I don't know how this is going to come out. So let's just make sure we get it on the green. Jesus Christ. That was a terrible shot. That was a ridiculously bad shot. It on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. Chip, flop. Do we get a high flop? Flop. But obviously, we didn't unlock the high flop. I 
Oh, come on. What's that? Birdie on the last. And likely to get at least one back here. That that this is that's the area I don't like. I think it looks so unnatural. Well, the chip shots, the way that the ball sort of releases and, and oscillates all over the place. To say bogey. It's kind of weird. It's really strange. Not a fan of it at all. Nope. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, so a level par start to the round, but that disappears here. It's a double don't really understand how that uh, that pitch shot for fifty went so long. Mind you, I didn't have a lot of room behind the the pin to do a high spin shot. That I uh, sorry, a spin, a uh, backspin shot. Why am I fast and everything now? It's so hard to bounce back after a huge score, especially when you're still reeling from it. But try and pull the screws back, back in the head there. Just take a little breath, maybe two. Oh, that looks stunning, doesn't swing. it? Look Don't at that sunset out to the right. Exactly That's like gorgeous, that. that is. Really good shot. Lovely, that is. Oh, yeah, I'm going to play this. This should release. Punch, knockdown, finesse. We can do a finesse three wood. Finesse in a three wood, would you, Adam and Ebit? And that is not the spot to be. It's just a bit weird. It's just a, sometimes it's just a bit weird this game. Oh, dearie me. Okay, we can't flop, can we? So we're going to need to... Can we do a high spin for me? I guess not, because we're in the rough. Okay, we're just going to have to do a pitch anyway. Oh, this is dead again, isn't it? This is dead again. Oh, I'm in the... I've got no... I've got no shot at all. Do you know what? Hit and hope, guys. Hit and hope. <laughs> oh, we got it on the green. Heavy rough 87 tonight. Yeah, some of the lies are really, really strange, uh, five, Steve. Normally the easiest holes <coughs> to birdie. It's a little bit of a it's waste. not what I would call heavy rough up, up to 97% lie. Uh, 36, 46. Let's go. Let's go there. Oh, it's got a chance. Turn left. Oh. I think that's what you want to do. Good lag, pal. Yeah, they can't all go in. So after a heck of a putt to get it to tap in range, he yeah, it's. That off I mean, it's. it's now, uh, like I don't want to be negative, but it it's not great. It's okay, and I think it's going to be enjoyable, but just the the actual. The golfing side of it, the actual gameplay, it's just kind of weird. There's just some weird stuff going on with the ball physics. And it pulls you out of the immersion, personally. I, that's what I'm finding. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right hey, there. Hey, Daz. Hello, buddy. Welcome, mate. Tony. Long time no see, mate. Hope you're doing well. Oh, the game is absolutely beautiful. Today, it is let's stunning. Bring in Nota Begay the third. Looking at 149 to the hole. Right, so let's try in, this, uh, right let's try this finesse shot again. Because we didn't really get on that well with it last time, did we? So the AI and finesse. See, we're eight feet uphill. We got a wind. 
But 3.1 below. So the ball's going to go left to right off the club face. Oh, fast at it again, though. Should be okay. I keep fasting them now. Uh, yeah, you're looking forward to getting this. And safely on. Uh, yeah, we're doing well, mate. Doing well, thank you very much. Distance, How's you? Really don't want to leave you. <laughs> Look, like you decided to show up three, three years later. Yes, yeah. first putt's gonna have to be good. Okay, this has got to go dead straight. Yeah, I mean, there's hardly any break there. There's a little bit of movement, but it's not much at all. Just got to make sure we get this ball here. Twenty-seven. Just right back up. Now, see. Now, how has that done that? Mm, not quite online. And that'll Explain to me how five. that ball has gone like that. That is so bad. <laughs> there was no break in that putt whatsoever. And I hit that straight. I didn't miss my line on the, sh on the uh, analog stick. It just decided to go way off of line. I don't know if that's got something to do with my putting stat. So that'll be a par. Uh, you got it on PC, done. yes, my so man. Yeah, on PC, I, yeah. It's 30 and FPS on console right now. I can't be dealing with 30 four. FPS. It's like a slideshow. Uh, well, watching this has convinced me that I won't be buying this at full price. I honestly don't blame you. I honestly, do not blame you. I, I, I don't think I could honestly recommend it too strongly to people. Not for the asking price it is. No way in the world. Oh, hello. What's going on here, boys? Could this be an ace on a par four? <laughs> I mean, this is EA all over, isn't it? This, look. What? Is, is this all it is? We just... What? We... What? So it, it gave me that because I hit a, a drive into the bunker. It got me all excited then. I thought Harry I was going to be close to the pin. The bunker. What, what was the point of that? <laughs> what was the point of that? I have no idea. Right, I've, again, I've got no idea what it's going to roll out to. So I'm just going to go halfway between here and this flag stick. Uh, it's a perfect okay. swing drive. Is, oh, is it turn off in the options? I thought I did turn it off in the options. It's called something like VFX or something. I thought I did turn that off. Mm, that's good putt right there. That's birdie. And it is back to one over now for the round. Here I thought it was going to be something really, really cool then. Like a hole out... A hole out par four or at least putting it like close to the pin or something. Instead it was just because I hit a bunker. Well, I, I got the perfect perfect, didn't I? But yeah. I mean they've got a lot of things to uh, to clean no up in this for there. sure. That's gonna wind up Let's not beat around the bush, let's not sugarcoat it. There's there's a lot they need to improve. Whether or not they do, I do not know. Now, Noda, his second from the fairway. A 110 to the hole. Standing on the wrong side of par right now, looking to get back to even. Right, I know this is... So we've got a knockdown 50. I know I've got the wind in my face and we're uphill. So I'm just going to short this one a little bit on the swing. Oh, get in your oh, hole, baby. Is, folks. That is going to likely be the shot. That's how you eagle. From the and I played that shot and I didn't Excellent get nothing. Contact off that club <laughs> off that wide. Just improbable. And I mean, had a magnet so on I don't even right get a little fancy, like, cup. slow motion what with fireworks and stuff for that. Uh, what you've been playing, I ain't playing Rust as much uh, more into Microsoft Flight Sim. Nice. On PC, I'll take it. Um, I've really been um, just playing, kind of, just been racing, mate. Doing a lot of sim, uh, sim racing, putting a lot of content out for that. 
And I've been playing um, 2K23 a fair bit as well. For my golfing fix. Oh, this is in the sand, isn't it? Oh, it's definitely in the sand now after that kick. And that one looked good for a while, but it's going to get gobbled up. I mean, it does look bunker. beautiful there, doesn't it? The way that sun's coming through the clouds. It's very pretty. Second. Very, very pretty. So 80 to 90% sand, 5.5 degrees below. So I'm just going to play out here. That is beautiful. That is stunning. Oh, I'd give that an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Been in a fairway bunker and safely Bloody on the Bloody hell, they're all coming in. Hello, Steely. Yeah, Welcome, mate. Uh, new rig arrives tomorrow. Awesome. Long pot here. This will require good time. Nice, mate. You have to send me some pictures in Discord. 31, 36 up. Just going to make sure I get this there. Uh, just got back into 2K23, to be fair. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of it lately. Seeing as they've just, um, well, not just dropped, but seeing as it's got like onla online ranked head-to-head uh, -head now, I I've been playing a lot of it. Eight from the world. Eight from the world on 2K23, mate. So I've been playing a lot of that. Uh, let's go back here. Oh, it's got a chance. It's got a chance. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. And this will be a one under front side as he goes out in 35. I mean, it's got it's got a lot in the game. Let's not get that wrong. It definitely does have an appeal there. There's definitely going to be a lot to do. Um, <clears throat> it's just, you know, if you're buying it for golf the golf inside of it which obviously you will be i just think the golf is just a little bit weak just some weird stuff going on so this should this is i mean three iron this has got to hit the front and roll up hasn't it it has to perfect perfect there we go green green That one safely on the putting surface. Birdie putt coming up. Wow. We go. 26, Two one feet Steven. down. Ooh. We're looking at a right to Ow. left break here, but it demands Spanish hands. It's all about feel, not much break, but it will have speed. Can't see. That one just going to sneak on by. I mean, it's got to be close. So we'll tidy that up for his par, and he'll remain in red figures at one under. Let's move on. To uh, the I just refunded hole. the deluxe pre-order edition because of the Dogby Vision HDR. Yes, Ed Wood. Yes, mate. When I yeah, I don't know if you saw my post in on the uh, EA forums. It yeah, when I streamed it for the first time, mate, it absolutely screwed the pooch on my PC. It had an absolute fit. I have never seen anything like it before. I tried everything, mate. I uh, reinstalled the NVIDIA drivers, did my chipset drivers, did my sound drivers, did everything, mate. Tried different HDMI cables. Every time I launched it, it just went into an absolute spaz. And it wasn't until I posted something on the forums about it that somebody posted up a fix. I didn't know it was an issue with EA games regarding Dolby Vision. <clears throat> but the only way I could get out of it was to just power the PC off. I couldn't do Control Alt Tab. Alt -tab. I couldn't. I couldn't launch task manager. Yeah, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do there. anything good over balance, on my left hand monitor. Nothing at all. And, and then when I finally all. did, what I did, I was, before I knew that you could fix it, I took the HDMI lead out from the the OLED and I just used my second monitor on the left hand side, which is a 1440p screen. And I don't know what was going on, but my controller, all my buttons, every time I pressed A, it, it would bring up my map and it would like flick between like key button presses and everything. It completely corrupted my game. It was, uh, yeah, it was mental. Absolutely mental. I just, I, it shocks me how games get 
launched with massive issues like that. Uh, right, we don't want to punch. So we can do a finesse. Last time I did the finesse shot, I wasn't impressed with it. So let's just try it again, but dial it back a little bit. So it just, yeah. I don't know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> Too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Turn the sound effects down to below 20, Tony. Uh, one second then. Um, well, the gameplay sound effects. Or all of them. Or do you want the master volume down or what? I don't, which volume do you want? These ones. Let's try 40 to start with. I mean, I've I've got an XLR here on the left, but obviously I can only adjust the overall volume. Right, I, I just don't like these shots. These are a nightmare. Just got to get used to it. Uh, yeah, fairways have way too much roll. I can understand they're being rolling okay, like St. Andrews nice work there. and That's things like that. Made it moves in to two under on the round. But even like this now, fairway, it, I mean, it doesn't 12. strike me as a very fast fairway. It just, they seem to run and run and run. Like we're getting 100 yards of run. Which it seems very excessive. Uh, any TGC tours? No, I don't play TGC. I haven't got time for all that, Daz. I've got too much going on in my life, dude. I can't, um, I can't devote that Second much shot. time. Good look at the green. Doing like four rounds every few days. I haven't got the time to practice and do all that. I just, yeah, just, I don't need that, mate. Got too much going on in my life. All right, let's go for this. That's short, short and right. Look at this. It's a bad swing. Uh, Lynx courses in the game. And that ball to looked progress. very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. Yeah, they do. Now, one second. For birdie at 12. Uh, well, there's volume. no doubt about it. This one will move from right to left. Not the biggest slope, but has to be considered. I do off stream I will sort of uh, I will have a look at all these I'll sort of get all the levels right on the mixer just so it doesn't deafen you guys yeah full swing for chip shots absolutely ridiculous yeah I agree 100% as are some of the short putts how it t literally takes a huge full backswing <laughs> to to play like a two-foot tapping it's it's just so much which is just so weak in this game it's just not much thought put into the, the immersion of it. It just takes away from what you're doing. Oh, that looked good the whole way. Very nicely done. So that's him for his party. Keep him at two under for his round. In the tee box, ready to go at the par four. Right, let's do a big overswing. Let's see how far we can actually over it. Okay, not that much. 2.2% over. Oh, this is going to be way down there. I mean, the amount that this ball rolls on fairways, this is going to get up on the green, isn't it? Uh, 
Oh, that's a lovely shot, that. <laughs> He's made one of these already. Another look now for Eagle. Eagle too. Wow, come on. I just don't know how to read these beads yet. Yeah, he wanted that to go a little more, but that's not too bad from there. Safe as barely. I mean, here, watch this pattern animation. Watch how far he brings it back. And it, it kind of, okay, so it kind of like rolls over the ball, like it doesn't even make contact with the ball. For after a good lag putt, it means that's no more than a tap in birdie. Uh, mate, it's not a patch on Tiger Woods 2014. Not a patch on it. It's the best game ever for EA games. Anyway, EA golf games. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Like, it has got some nice touches. You can, like, you know, move around. And yeah. Just it's that style, though. Yeah, it is that style, yeah. Seconds. It is very it's EA. Absolutely. I just, I just thought it would be a little bit better. They've had eight years since Rory, and we all know how bad Rory was. I just thought it would be absolutely nailed. It's just a bit disappointing. Uh, good shot. Safely on the green in the birdie chance. 13 feet away. Oh, I didn't move at all. Effort, but Brett's going to wander a few feet by. I mean, I'm a deadly putter in 2K23, but in this game, I can't make a damn thing. Okay, that's finished off. Can't You're make a damn thing. Deep into the round, the 15th hole. Just comes from practice, doesn't it? Will there be a big update? Will there be a big update? I would hope so. I mean, they have said there's going to be an update, so I, I would hope so. There would be a... I mean, so the way that the ball's been released, and I'm literally going to have to play this ball so far back. So it's 15 feet downhill, so it's going to be landing 196. So we're going to get 20 yards of roll here. Oh, jeez. That's gone long, very long. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. See, I don't think there's enough variation between these pitch shots when you're sort of you know, when you're around the green, like pitch shots and chip shots, they, they kind of, they all look the same. They all kind of release the same way. Like, I'm just not confident I'm making any of these putts from this distance. And 2K23, I'd pretty much put this with my eyes closed. No. I don't know if that's got something to do with... Um, I don't know if that's got something to do with, like, because I haven't put any stats into my putting ability, so it makes it very random, the lines and stuff. Makes it very hard to read them. Like, even if they're dead straight, sometimes they'll miss, like, three three cups left or three cups right. And I've pretty much hit a straight shot on my analog stick. It's, it's kind of, it's all a little bit strange at times.
I mean, even the speed that that golf ball leaves the driver and, and launches and into orbit, into even things like that just seem off. It just seemed like that was an Exocet missile. Uh, okay, Daz, I'll catch you so later, buddy. Have a good one. Eighty yards or so. This right, second. eighty yards. So we can do the finesse. Nine. What have we got? What have we got? Wind in our face, and we're uphill. What a nice shot! Right on the green, and a pretty easy putt on the way. Right, right edge, surely. I mean, it's got three beads of, of right to left there. Yes, a good look at that one. Oh, the way in. It's a 30. Push that score to three under for the round. On the 17th hole, ready to play. Right, a little par three. I mean, some of these pins seem a little bit... A little bit silly. That's a good swing. See, why is that ball gone so far left? Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. This one moving left here for birdie. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well done. It's birdie to move to four under now on the day. Our final hole here, a long one as we close out the round with the par 5 18. Right, par five. Let's uh, let's do something special here. It's going to be up the left hand side. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. I mean, it landed two fifty two. What did it finish? Three sixteen. Okay, so sixty odd, seventy yards of roll. I mean, that wasn't too silly, but uh, what have we got? Three iron, three wood. All right, let's try to fade one in. It's just the it's just the speed of that the balls go through the greens. It's it's like a bowling ball on concrete. Uh, and that second shot on this par five, it just came out too low. It came out like a bullet. That first bounce it wasn't going to stop. Second bounce wasn't going to stop, and just ran over the bat. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. You betcha, birdie's at 16, 17, oh, well, there you go. and 15 to wrap things up. Not bad back nine. It just takes, it, it does take getting used to, it really does, because of just the way that the balls react. You have to well, just play a completely different way to to how you literally play golf games how you've always played golf games right so we've got some xp let's go back to our character no no worries steve anytime buddy anytime ask and thou shall deliver Right, where's our... How do we get to golfer again? There we go. Golfer. Uh, where do we go? Skills. No, 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 no. Skills, skills, skills. 
So I really do think we need to work on accuracy. How many points have we got? We've got six points again now. I think I'm going to work on my approach accuracy. Um, I'm on um, uh, Tor Pro, Ken. I think it's Tor Pro. It's basically the um, not the max difficulty, the next one down. I think it's Tor Pro. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look in a minute for you, buddy. One sec. Um, so we've got four points. I think we need to go back on to... Uh, short game. I'm going to improve my accuracy in my short game. Get my control going. And then we're going to go one on accuracy. I feel like these, all these shot types are very, very important for the short game. Short game. What have we got? We've got one point left. Right, we're at level 11 now. Level 11? <laughs> right, let's go and have a look. See what uh, difficulty we're on. I th I'm pretty sure it's Tor Pro. Um, gameplay, is it? I think. Uh, oh, where the hell is it? <clears throat> I don't know where it would be. Uh, Swim mechanic, left stick, gameplay, custom. Swing difficulty. There you go. So what? Yeah. So it's tour. So what I've done is, do you want to say these settings? Uh, yeah, sure. So basically, it's tour, and what I've done is um, gone down to uh, shot shaping. This one impacts the execution of the swing mechanic for shots that have draw or fade applied. So when that's on basically what you need to do is you need to angle your um controller the shot stick to for the for the draw and the fade um so so if you draw it you need to literally go back on a diagonal and then forward on a diagonal or if you want to fade it you have to go down on a diagonal and then up on a diagonal so i've basically turned that off um so I've just done it basically so you can just uh, you can play it left and right like you can on 2k23 and still go backwards and forwards that's the change I've made which turns it into custom uh, I don't want that applied changes uh, sure so I need to go back to that one second settings gameplay uh, hang on one second where is it that one so tour and then I just turn oh my god that's really annoying so tour and then I just go down and do shot shaping and I move that to off that's the only change I made um yeah I was doing the career Ken um and then Steve asked me in chat if I could go and have a look at um oh god what's the name of the course um, I don't know if you joined us, but the course I was just playing, Itty Titty or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know what the course is called, man. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm just going to go back into the career now and go back into what I was doing. So I did basically two rounds. Uh, I started at St. Andrews. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I think we're kind of, uh, yeah, seven under we are. Um, so we're, I think we're like four or five shots back. Yeah, as you can see, we're tied for 19. So we're five off the lead. <clears throat> I like the way that you get the tee-off times. Though. I mean, the, the tee-off times seem accurate, don't they? Well, actually in saying that, we've got 11 o'clock there and we've got an 11 o'clock there. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have that. So that, that he was, he's 11.06 and he's playing on his own by the look of it. Not quite, not quite accurate, is it? Um, what you've got AI scoring difficulty on? Um, I think it's on. I'm not sure. Where where do I check that? Where do I check that? Uh, that might be in career settings, I think. 
Um, I don't think it's in there. Let me just go into the career page and I'll see if I can find it. Um, course preview quests. Would it be here? I'm not sure. It's not basically. It's not easy. It's not easy. As you can see, they are. Oh, for goodness sake. These little bumper buttons and triggers up the top, they confuse me sometimes. Obviously, they've played two rounds of the 12 under. So, it's... Um, I don't know. I guess they... I can't remember what I put them on, man. I honestly can't remember. Oh, career settings. There you go. AI scoring difficulty, 100%. 100% right away up to the top. <clears throat> uh 75 seems a little light yeah i mean minus six is a pretty right score isn't it really for kind of you know decent pros 66 rounds of 66 maybe 65s all right let's continue the event yeah exactly ken definitely all right let's get back to it. winds are three to five miles an hour i'm just going to do the two rounds here tonight I don't even know what the time is. EA Sports, in conjunction with the RNA, so proud to spot. I mean, St. Andrews looks great with the little uh, town in the background the there. Today, it's live coverage of the third round. Yeah, see, these are a little so bit off. Would have been nice if they were all the correct tee times. Here, as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. We've got a packed group at the top with a tie. Right, so we've done a 70 67. So we're just getting used to the uh, to the game, really. Still within shouting distance, five shots off the pace. All right, let's just do free wood. And that should be just fine. Good drive there to get the Saturday round underway. Seventy yards. All that's left here for his second. Right, so we've got the finesse shot up eleven. I haven't quite worked these out. Sometimes they go way long. Other times they go way short. That's fast point four percent. I mean, fast point four percent doesn't seem like you've, you've fasted it all that much, but it, it does make a big difference. Uh, we're ready to change this camera angle. Not, I don't like that camera angle one bit. So I get, I'm thinking I'm just going to hit it straight. See, how's that not uphill? That really looks like that's an uphill putt. It just says 19 feet there. I mean, the way the shading is on that bank, you would think that was uphill, wouldn't you? Oh, yes. That's the way to start the day. It is a birdie here. It's a nice start. And that's going to move him into red figures for the round and eight under for the tournament. Here we are now at the second. Always so important to try and establish a good round in these opening holes, Frank. In the second hole, especially with a prevailing breeze and today's modern equipment, the odd player has actually driven this green, but um, you really see, see the tone of the golf course. The I think we're going to fade this one a little bit. There's a, there's a series of bunkers down there, but um, the left is always the safe side of the golf course, but it's the best line to play your second shot from on the whole golf course is always the right side, and we see that here at the second. Perfect. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This uh, I think it's at level because you start from a down slope and it equaled it out a bit. Yeah, possibly. I mean, I don't know. It still looked like quite a big slope I was going up, didn't it? All right, let's do this finesse shot again. 100%, 1.1 below. Where's the wind? Five off the right. Oh, 
So yeah, that one spins back like a madman. And the previous one that I did on a finesse shot with a wedge, it just literally just stayed on and right where it landed. Seven. This is where I don't like the game. I think it's pretty rubbish around this sort of distance. Ball just doesn't look right to me. Uh, good cut there. It's in for par here at the second. We'll take Barney past that. On the tee box here at the third now. Frank, all of these holes look relatively straight to turn down that bloody music, man. A, kind of a false sense of security off the tee here at the old course. Well, well you can. This hole, uh, the third hole, even shorter than the second, so reachable. But um, a lot of people tend to bail out towards the left. That's the middle of the golf course. And that leaves you a devilish little pitch or short wedge across that big gaping bunker that protects both the uh, third and the 15th green. So once again, you want to drive the ball down the right side, but there's a series of pot bunkers there. Try that. All right, man, these fairways, look at the state of them. I think it's safe if we go up here, isn't it? Because we don't know what's going to happen if we go down here. Got two little pop bunkers down on the right hand side, and we've got that big fat bunker over there on the left. Or do we just do we just gamble? Do we just gamble and go for it? Just gamble and go for it. Come on. Come on, Lynx gods. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is gonna be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Oh yeah, they yeah they're way over top. Um, I've not played any online Tim here. Not yet. This is second. That'll probably be tomorrow. I'm just gonna sort of get my character built up a little bit. Um, are there crowds commentary online? I don't know because I've not done any online, buddy. I can't answer that question accurately. I'm afraid. Sorry. All right, let's try the spinner. I mean, it didn't really spin, did it? I, I hit that one minus 1 1.8 power this, and it shot right the past the flag and, and, and this is the putt you should make seven stopped. out of ten times. Looks to be dead straight. Nothing to push it offline. You don't know what you're talking about, buddy, because that's definitely not dead straight. Or do you know something I don't know? Ah. Oh. Not to be a little short, but a, a good effort there. So that safely in. It's a par here at the third. And he'll remain right where he is. Uh, I don't know. Pass, I don't know. Whatever one gives you 60 FPS. I'm on, I'm on PC, so I can't really answer that question. Four, uh, two choices. Whether you're uh, game enough to drive it down the right or down the left, which is a much I know wider the, piece um, of fairway. I know the PlayStation 5 controllers tend to be a little bit easier to hit than the Xbox ones. I think the sticks, the analog sticks are a little bit tighter. Um, that's what the guys playing 2K23 say anyway. So I think yeah, maybe if you want an easier game, maybe PlayStation 5. I don't know. But if you want a challenge, get Xbox. <laughs> And that is dead center right That's a beautiful the drive. Look at that. I mean, I'll use an old Xbox 360 controller. Chance to set himself up for a Just suits my hand. Opportunity with his second uh, shot here. All right, what have we got? So, 9 iron. This has got to release. 3, 4... Oh, that's long. That's in trouble. That's in the bunker.
And a good approach shot. Just yeah, haptic feedback probably for PS5. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think patching some of the weirdness in gameplay. Yeah, graphics Bowie. are absolutely stunning. But the gameplay, it needs a lot of work. Man, these beads are moving fast. Mm, hang on. That's Just putt putting is so hit or miss. Like I, I feel like I cannot read a putt. Like I say, on 2K23, I can nail anything inside 30 feet. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And he'll stay right where he is. Well, here's a real scoring opportunity. The first par five on the front side at St. Andrews, the fifth hole. It's only 514 yards. That green house, this is a football field deep. The key here, yet again, avoiding the big bunkers. The right, where's the, the wind? Off the right. Bunkers off the tee. If you do that, you'll have a great chance to get home in two. Oh, slow. That's not what you need for par five, is it? No, don't go down there. Stop. Long drive, but a bad lot. Uh, wicked. What have we got? 96. So I'm in the rough, and we got a 96 to 100% lie, which is... We might as well just call this fairway. I'm just going to hit this here because I know what the ball reacts like when it hits the green. It's like a bowling ball. Oh, hang on. Where's the wind? Off the right, isn't it? Here we go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye bye. That is a really good shot on him. Two on this part. Five, I mean, I know I was out of the rough, but yet. No, I'm a tough it's just a weird out react. If he makes the part or at least gets down Jeez. and two, then I'm going to congratulate him on this. <sighs> 123. Yeah, that's fine. We've got to make sure we get this there. Yeah, and putts this long so hard to gauge the speed. And that's maybe about what you'd expect. Oh, the weight was pretty decent. Though. Eight feet remaining here for birdie. See how... Hmm. Let's say what? should have made that. This is what I mean about putts. How does that ball go left when the every single grid line was moving to the right and I hit that part right on the line that was accurate it just went left left and more left that one finished off where it is apart here at five and it's ever so weird man it's just it's so quirky you gotta love the names of the bunkers here, don't you? They tell you all you need to know. Those coffin bunkers, you hit it in there, and you're dead. Yeah, just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm. Hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. All right, can we get a flop shot? No, it's too far for a flop, isn't it? 46 yards. So the great tee shot left him here. Now his second from relatively close range. So I'm still trying to work out the spinners. They just don't seem to go where you put the mark. Six down. 2.9 below, so it's going to go right, but then we've got the wind off of the right to balance it. Oh, 
I mean, look at it. It just shoots. It just shoots like a, a little punchy kind of shot. Okay, a little left to do, bud. Safely on the green. Look here at birdie. Dead straight look here. Just has to trust his stroke and get the ball to the hole. So I just don't trust these shots now. It's just not. It's just in. not good. It's just not convincing. It's, it's just so horrible. The port, the balls on the greens. Putting is shocking in this. It really is. And he'll stay right where he is. Back here at the Open Championship on the seventh hole here at the old course. Yeah, blind tee shot. This is one uh, one hole that really does advantage the long hitter. Um, they can get it very close to this green, but this green has got some uh, amazing undulations in it. Uh, does the rough take distance off clubs like it does in 2K? Yeah, it does, but it so far what I've seen in the roughs, it doesn't so really give you a bad lie. Um, to the part four. Like most of the lies I get in rough, it seems to be like between 89% and 96%, even if you're in the rough. And it doesn't really do too much to the ball because the ball, when it lands on the green, it tends to roll out so much anyway. You kind of make up what you're losing in distance by roll. And it's it's very hard to judge, very hard. Right, so I don't really know what this finesse shot's going to do. So we're going to go behind the pin. We've got a five mile an hour in our face. Doesn't really play like wind in two K twenty three. That one's short. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. All right, 14. I mean, I'm, I think I'm just going to start hitting these quite hard just to try to alleviate some of the uh, the weird kind of breaking nature of an opposite break of putts. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can get on with this putting mechanic. Something needs to change, man, because it's just... It's, it's so bad. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And he'll remain right where he is. The eighth hole at 166 yards is not long, but you can see it has that bunker guarding the front of the green. If you do not clear that, you're in a world of trouble. Right. See, I find it kind of easier from this distance than, than <laughs> kind of green side. Okay, safely aboard. This one measures out to 15 feet. Oh yeah, that one online all the way. It's in for a birdie. Um, he's got it to two under so round. FSU fan, basically, um, if you rounding out the opening nine here Google, at Andrews, if you Google Frank, crew, C R U, actually, if you go to the E A, if you punch in Google E A P G A tour forum, go to the technical section on page three. That it's my it's my thread on page three. Somebody has put a fix up. This you basically need to so download flat, a program called Crew, read, but, uh, and then you, you there, what you basically do is you um, you this select your chance. OLED you screen, the um, and then you disable Dolby Vis uh, Dolby Vision, so uh, delete it, and then you restart you you restart Crew, and it'll restart the driver, and then what it'll do is it'll force the um, the driver to not see Dolby Vision on your monitor uh, on your TV. And then it'll it'll run fine. That's what that's what I had to do. But yeah, it caused massive issues issues for me early on today. It wasn't nice, as you well know what it's like. <laughs> it was horrendous. 
this looks really good. Oh, get on your bike. <laughs> See, I mean, I don't know if you saw the logo the there on the golf field, ball. but for this guy, it, it was it was spinning yes, like a flipping spinning top, and then and then as shot. it came to a stop, you could see the logo. It wasn't the logo wasn't running forward on a golf ball. It literally came to a stop, and then it just sort of, it just spun around like it spun around on its axis that way. Like it's just so weird. It just doesn't look right. Uh, thanks. Does it affect other games? Um, I'm not too sure. You might have to rerun crew. I don't know. Um, if you rerun crew and you select your, the OLED TV, you should see it down the bottom um, whether or not it will be there again. Um, it might be something that you have to delete every time that you want to play a Dolby Vision game. Apparently, it happened with um, Need for Speed Heat and some of the old uh, EA titles. I didn't know that, but um, apparently it's a known issue. So I don't know why they haven't figured out that they couldn't fix it in this game. But yeah, I don't know. It's literally the first time I've, I've played with it tonight, so... You know, crew. Nope. Stop. 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 But it's a fix to get it working anyway. This would be a good way to finish off the front side. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here. Right. I mean, that's a clean-looking scorecard. No bogeys. No on this drama. Side. Should have made a lot more putts than what we made, though. As we begin the backside here at St. Andrews, you can really yeah, no worries, feel buddy. the history. All the best. This whole name Hopefully you get it sorted. I mean, it, it works for me, so it should work for you. And other people on there have said they've done the same thing, and it works for them, so you should be good. Was his grand slam year. Retired, by the way, at the age of right, 28. Right, so we got the wind going that way. Mm -hmm. Then founded and built with Alistair McKenzie, Ooh, Augusta Nash. Good. So a little bit of history Wing. lesson as you play this 340 yard par 4 10th oh this is going to be a monster putt so we need to go all the way over there 132 feet 132 feet oh my god in the hole. Long putt coming up. wow we're just going to lag this one up aren't we Just gonna lag this fella up. See, like all that break there. All, so there's like 70 foot of break right to left. It's literally gone straight. And that hasn't will come up hasn't well affected short, that ball whatsoever. Not gauged well at all. Now this for birdie at 10. And he seemingly had no problem with his reads all round long, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Oh god, the pattern of this game is just atrocious. It is just so bad. So that's in for par to start this backside. How on earth they can come out and say they're happy with these ball physics is beyond me. Frank, number 11, the Eden, is really one of the more fascinating holes in all of golf. Yeah, the two bunkers that the players normally worry about, Streth bunker in the front and the hill bunker to the left, what we're just going to go right over the top of it. So difficult That's what we're going to do. Steepness of the faces in them. We're going to go right over the top of it. Oh, that's in it. I've been fast in everything all night, and now I now I slow it. <laughs> Now from the bunker, Give just a little splash out on this par three. Right, I need to see where I'm aiming. I can't, I can't even see where I'm aiming here. Right, here we go. Right. So we need to kind of get it up onto there, I think. I don't even know if this is going to get up. Oof, it's not bad. I'll take that. Line may have been a little more sunken in than we had thought, but all in all, not a bad shot out of the bunker. Okay. 
Okay, well done. It is a par here at 11. Like, you can literally see He'll the ball stay. wobbling right. on the is. way to the hole. Like, it'll be breaking right to left, but you'll well, see it, fooled. like, it says kind of trying to go right. 16 yards on the card. It's like, this is the 12th <laughs> hole. But you can so really weird. end up in a ton of trouble here. Bunkers are hidden all over the fairway. If you want to get through this hole clean, probably take out the long iron and play it down the left Ooh. side. That'll still give you a you know short what, Let's just go in. for it. <clears throat> let's just feed it through that gap. Oh, this is a big chance, but it's looking good. <clears throat> Should be a shot this. Oh god, there's no way. Uh... What a display of power and precision off the tee. On the green here on the par four. There's no one. way. Ah, <laughs> oh, dearie me. Oh, that's not a bad effort. Uh, oh, that is so nicely judged from that far away. That required a lot of touch down the slope. Well done. Uh, Nothing to it. It's uh, a birdie uh, here at 12. Bit of madness. Um, move to played it for two hours. Do you like it so far? I think it's it's better than my first go We're at the right game early on this evening. But uh, it, yard, I find it quite 13. frustrating. I find it quite... Coffin bunkers. Uh, and what's the word? Aimed at the middle of this it's not all that realistic. Green. I don't like the ball physics. Putting's terrible. Some of the chipping animations are way off. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think the game overall will be okay. It just It's a lot of money for what it is. And there's just a lot that needs to be fixed, I think. Personally. It just does too much inconsistent, weird stuff. <clears throat> At times it feels like a mobile golf game. And that's not me just being, like, you know, just trolling yeah, it or anything like that. Just, uh, like. Ran out of fairway and you know, just a uh, you know, bad mouth or anything like that. I so just think it's, it's, it's just gotta be careful not very good in areas. Go right. right, let's go. Like some of the ball reactions on the greens, the bounces oh, and the rolls, good shot. just so Inside weird. Feet, just doesn't look right. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. <clears throat> Sheila Wiggins, you're a bender. Sheila Wiggins, go fuck yourself. Uh, I agree with you. I cannot stand this game already uninstalled. What a letdown in some ways. I'm happy I don't need to spend more money on another golf game. Back to 2K. Yeah, back 2K23 is a much better golf game. For just the golf, it's a much better golf game. Um... Oh. That, that was low from the start. No, it's just the way the ball reacts. It's not not the whole game. The way that the ball looks when it's in the air, when it hits the greens, when it's rolling, when it's putting, how it oscillates all over the place. It's just the ball physics is so bad. Okay, safely into par here. I don't mean 13. the whole game. And he'll remain three shots off the pace. We come now to the longest hole in the golf course, though it is a relatively short par five at 530 yards. This is the 14th. Out of bounds wall on the right, most players are aiming left to the landing area known as Elysian Fields. Oh, 
Oh, that's gone. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here. Stop, and stop, this, stop, stop, stop. Another fine tee shot. Right, let's play this one really short and just hopefully it just bounces up and runs and rolls. Does whatever it wants to do. Yeah, hopefully, Ken. Hopefully, Queen's hopefully. Own, uh, shot the distance. Yeah. Not quite the accuracy. Missed a pair to the right. Yeah, not quite a foul ball. Kept it in the ballpark and well, spinner. Right. See how good you can chip. But every time I've tried this spinner, it's always gone way through where my uh, aiming marker is, even though I've kind of under swung it. So I don't really know what's going on with with the, these ones. I mean, that was a fast one. I get that why this one's going to go. <laughs> Okay, on the green, but that's going to leave a putt that... Uh, you see what you mean with attention. the ball? Yeah, I mean, even there, this the way that that ball now, then 14. just landed on the green, spun and, and, and moved and done its thing. No problem with his reads all round long, so this shouldn't be too difficult. It's kind of weird. Like, I've, I've had putts where... Imagine all this putt, okay, is left to right the whole distance. So I've literally aimed over here, and I've hit the perfect line on my analog stick, okay? The ball has literally started left and just kept going left. It hasn't taken any break. And it's just, it's wobbling as it, on the way to the hole. It's just, it's so weird. You just, you can't really trust the putts. It just looks so weird. I mean, this has got a load of break at my feet. Right on the ball, there's a load of break. It's got, two, it's got three beads of, of break. <laughs> it doesn't really take him. That one just gonna sneak on by. Well, coming down the slope, you think he'd carry a little bit more speed, but surprisingly, comes up short. I mean, there's definitely there's there. loads in the game. I mean, it looks stunning. I think the career's gonna be good. The character progression is good. I mean, there's loads of challenges and everything to do, and, and coaching drills and all that sort of good stuff. It, the game is packed with content. It's just when you're on the course, it just leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, also, the backswing is so slow. Yeah, there is a yeah. There's I, I said that multiple times early on in the stream, buddy. Um, there's there's no connection there with the, the swing. You pull it back and there's like a delay. It takes like a second to see the first movement on your backswing. And then when you get to the top, if you push forward where your gauge hits the line, you always get overswing. So you've got to push forward for the downswing way before it even reaches the 100% uh, the mark at the top. Like there's just so much that's just, it should be tighter. It should be better. But yeah, hopefully they can patch it. I don't know if they will. I mean, the way the ball shoots off the club face there, it's like it's a flipping Exocet missile. <laughs> and even there, did you see that? Did you see where that ball landed in the sand there? The actual, you could see the logo on the ball spinning around like that. Yeah, you know, it's all very well having distance off the tee, but the old course... She's a canny old bird, and she's still got a few <laughs> tricks up her sleeve. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to play my 10 hours and then see how we go, like, afterwards. All right, 80 to 90%. What have we got? We've got 7.5 degrees below. Call that 8 degrees below, I mean. I'm going to aim over to the left. I don't know how much this is going to kick it over to the right. But you would expect it would be kicking this ball over loads. So let's just see what happens here. Ooh. 
We talk so much about that dreaded long bunker shot, and that was played beautifully. I would take that any day of the week. Uh, the ball and green physics are what I was most excited about, but it's very bizarre. Career is fun. Yeah, career is fun, but it's... Uh, I hope they sort out the gameplay. It's obviously needed more time, but they released it for the Masters. Yeah, they had to get the game out this week. Yeah, I know. Um, are you playing on the hardest difficulty? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, no, not the very hardest. I'm playing on tour. So it's one down from the hardest difficulty. But it's still pretty easy. I mean, the, the harder one, I don't think you get the green grids and things like that. And the way that the ball is on the greens, there's no way I'm going to be playing this game without a grid. I mean, it's hard enough as it is with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, a perfect putt there. It is in for birdie here at 15. Uh, well, seven on five. This game sucks. As he moves to five under par. In areas it does. I can't disagree with that. Here at the old course, Frank, with another one of those sort of funky features. Yes, a series. I think it's going to be a very marmite. I think people that enjoy just very simple arcade golf um, that are not after a realistic experience, I think we'll probably end up enjoying it. Um, for those guys that are looking for an accurate simulation type golf game, I think they're going to be left a little bit wanting. 2K23 is. Uh, I mean, look at this. <clears throat> what on earth? The way that, that ball shoots off right there. <laughs> <laughs> out to be a it's a perfect shot. Saturday it's a perfect line. Here. And this, another fine it just looks shot. weird. So a big drive and not much needed to carry here for his second. I mean, this spinner shot is just a joke. It always flies so much further than, than where you think it's going to land. All right, where's the wind? Off of the left. I mean, look at it go. <laughs> it's like I've hit a punch shot. And just when I thought the momentum was going in the right direction after that birdie, please don't give it back straight away. I mean, look at it. Look, look. Gained a stroke at the last and going to give at least one. Oh, right dear God, this guy, man. <clears throat> Bye. And that will scoot on by and leave a lengthy putt there for his double. But too lengthy, in my opinion. You've got to stop that ball closer to the hole. This is a nine footer. Yeah, that one on target, though it is in oh, well. for double bogey. No um, ten under par. Um, it's it's right average. It's average, Andrews Robbie. It's average. Road it has some good things about it. Presentation is really nice. But um, I'm not. I'm not infused with the, the actual golf the itself. It's just hotel, very weird. Very weird. On a narrow fairway beyond. Just doesn't look right. It's so hard to bounce back after a huge score, especially when you're still reeling from it. But try and pull the screws back, back in the head there. Just take a little breath, maybe two. Decent swing. Don't try and kill it. Exactly like that. Really good shot. 
From the fairway Noda, this is second. Right, wedge, Looking 50 at approach, 119 to the front. 17. 119 to the hole. Hole cut right in the middle. All right, so a bit of perfect. It's got to be somewhat Gap close, this one. in here. Headed just right of the flag. Very nice. I know it's the second shot, golf course. That's an awesome shot. I don't care. That's the first, the last. That's a great shot. Uh, no, Justin. Shouldn't. Nicely done. Brody finished off here at 17. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. It certainly <laughs> helped the cause. Yeah, the sound effects are very, very poor. Frank, this is really one of the coolest spots in the whole sport. When you tee off at 18, it, it's as if the entire town of St. Andrews is peering in and looking at you. you you've started by the by the town at the little starters box. And right, some big overswing. All the way out. Now you're all the way on the back end. And, <clears throat> and, it's, and it's almost like your job's been uh, completed. But um, really, in the game of golf, you just started. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here. And this... Another fine tee shot. Cheers, Justin. Thank you, mates. From well down the fairway, this a bit of a tricky distance for his second. Need, really need to get a 12. Oh, I'm just not, I'm not enjoying this spinner shot one bit. I think I'm just going to give up on the, on the spinner shot. I think I'm just going to use finesse. Uh, let's try flop. Flop shots seem to be pretty decent. I'm gonna... If I'm close enough, I'm always gonna use flop shot. Always. Seems to be the only shot you can control the ball. Coming up short with the second shot was the issue. But a beautiful use of the flop shot and a good chance to escape with a par. Okay, a good putt. All right. Able to save par here so what's that? What did we do there? And that will mean this is a Saturday score of 68. 68 okay. For this third round. Frank, our featured golfer, four shots back. Heading not great, to not great. We, we see deficits like that disappear all the time. We're a long way back tomorrow. though, aren't we? Well, long way back. They have, Rich, is they're teeing off in front of the leaders. So if you can post a number and then all of a sudden perhaps somebody trying to win for the very, very right. first time they feel let's see what xp we've unlocked just this. So yeah the physics is are terrible so that should just about do it for all of us at ea sports thanks for spending some time with us on the road okay I sure wanna, yeah right let's go and have a look what xp we've got all right we've got some points Right, let's just hop back out of here. Let's just go to our golfer just quickly. Let's see if we can do something with our uh, abilities here. How many points have we got? We've got four points. Let's just get all these, shall we? I feel like the approach is what's really, really letting us down here. <clears throat> right, we're going to do one more career round and just get this done. Hello. Bye. Um, after 10 hours, do you see yourself buying the game? Uh, EA Sports honestly, no. Is proud to present...
continuing coverage no, I, I can't of see it. Golf. I mean, I am enjoying Today, the career and I am enjoying the progression. I'm not going to lie. Round. Um, well, we have already seen three but then you look at how the ball is behaving and you look at how stupid the putting the is and how Twilight stupid the chipping is and later today, how ridiculous everything just is around the greens and the, the bounces and the rolls. It's just, a it's, number of folks in contention, it's just, it's just weird. It's just, I, I don't know if I can deal with it. All right, seven wind. It's a shame because it looks lovely, and I, th I think there's so much in the game. I think it would be a, I think it's going to be a really, really like you know, flushed out game for content. And that but if this is what we're, we're here to, to do, Sunday play golf, and it's started. so bad, then why bother? I mean, 2K23 is just a better game if you want to just play golf. It doesn't have all the fluff. It doesn't have all the visuals. It doesn't have all this, you know, really good career and all the progression and stuff, but. You won four times, but I'm the golf is good. You, ever won, you can't deny that. You fell on your face a couple of times. To what extent did those experiences help you? Right. Well, the bottom line so. about golf is it's a game based on failure, and you have to be able to pick yourself up and take away the positives from every single tournament you tee it up in and every single experience. You take those experiences and you build them into success, and that's what they're hoping to do here today. Nine feet remaining here for birdie. Down to change that camera angle. Just want to make sure we get it here. Turn. See, like then. So it turned loads for the first part of that putt. Then for the two remaining grids where you would expect a ball to move even more because it's losing momentum. So you would expect the ball to break even more. It just goes straight. So it turns for the first part when you get less break. And then for the second half of the part where it should get more more break, it just goes straight on. It, it just, it does weird stuff like that. Safe for him. It's a par here at first. And he'll remain right where he is. Well, here you get a real taste of what the old course will be all about. The double greens, the 411 yard par four second, the ideal spot. You want to be just to the like right. If there's no consistency in putting, how are you ever going to learn here, how to putt? This how are you ever well going to master the beach? Cheap's bunker. If every putt is just a crapshoot, it's just 50 50 if it drops. Another very nice tee shot. He looks awfully comfortable here with these first couple of drives. Uh, I agree. There are so many things to fix. Reminds me of Backfield 2042. Yeah, what a game that's turning into finally. It's taking, it's taking time to get there, but it's finally starting to resemble Second a Backfield shot. game. Good look at the green. All right, punch, knockdown, finesse. I think finesse is the way forward. Oh, that's going to be short. Underswung it. One and a half percent. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I, I mentioned that in one of my earlier chance. videos. Like how high this the toe sticks up in the ground. Right like it's, it's like a wedge position. I mean, things like that I can get over. I mean, that's that's fine. All right, it's, it's rubbish, but it's just cosmetic. But when a ball's not behaving as a ball should do, really, that uh, that's a bigger issue, isn't it? Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. That finished off for par. You with the second. And he'll stay right. I mean, it'll be interesting when, you know, it'll be interesting to know if, if people that stream golf that have a, a huge follower base, whether or not they actually give an honest review of this game or not. Just hit it down the right side, but try and avoid those little pot bunkers. And I've got to watch carefully what I say. <laughs> but it'd be interesting to see what Respawn says about the game.
Bro, what flag is it, left or right? Okay, that's gonna be safely in the fairway, and that's where you need to play from if you're gonna make a final round surge. That's what we need, the final Little round surge. Bit of an awkward distance for this. Here's second. Right, again, pitch. So we can't be doing pitch shot. We're not gonna do spinning shot because that's terrible. So we're gonna be using finesse again, I think. I think it's gonna be finesse all the time. <laughs> Where's the wind? Five in our face. Okay. Oh, that's slow. Oh, fast. Okay, that felt like a slow to me. <clears throat> no, don't spin back like that. Okay, that's acceptable there. See, to me, that's how a spinner shot should be. But the spinner shot is nothing like that. It kind of goes in flat. It's, it's It looks very punchy. <clears throat> and then it doesn't really spin. It just it just rolls out and, st and just stops in a little shorter distance. The spinner shot is not doing what I thought a spinner shot would do. I need to read the description again. Maybe I've read just thinking that it should be a backspin shot and it's not. Maybe it's something entirely different. I don't know. All right, let's try it. Get this one. Ooh, good speed there. That'll leave just a couple of feet. Come okay. on, let's get the birdies Safe in. in for his par. And he'll remain right where he is. Well, we're definitely not going to win it, but <clears throat> we just got to finish high. I don't think we need to win it. I think we get, we get bonus points if we win it, but, you know, 100% AI is, you know, playing with a default, pretty basic uh, characters. Pretty tough going, isn't it? Just got to finish high as we can, get as much XP as we can, and move on to the next one. That will do just fine. It's a nice tee shot. A good look at that pin over there on the left. 140 yards. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. All right, where's this uh, finesse shot? Here we go. 132 yards to the front of the green. 140 yards to get you to the flag. Wind into the face, so you'll definitely need to account for that. Oh, my goodness me. <coughs> Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? All wrong. All, All wrong, Frank. Maybe. That's uh, a little bit of a head scratcher. It wasn't that hard a shot. Uh, where's the flop shot? be fairly pleased with that Frank what do you think I certainly do it was so so good he'll finish that one off with no problem it's in for par I'm on hard Robbie right where uh, tour tour sorry tour tour difficulty par fives this is where players look to and make then 100% the AI in a major championship how does this fifth hole par five measure up Frank well if you can avoid the bunkers um, they're actually left and right but uh, especially that little group of three bunkers, then it sets up well. It'll be a blind second shot, but you try and guide your second shot between the two bunkers on the hill in front of you, which are called the spectacles. Oh, man, I've done it again. I keep going over there into this rough, and it just keeps rolling over here. Just keep on going. Keeps on going, look. <laughs> so that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. So, uh, again, look look at our lie down here. So, we're in the rough. 96 to 100% is our lie. <clears throat> I ju I'm just playing this so far short because of the, the roll that you get on this ball. That's why I'm doing it.
See, that I one was like a little it. bit better. Like a that was a little He's bit better. Love it if you can get out of here with the three, and that's a possibility. So a chance now to bring this par five to its knees. A long eagle putt. Oh, that's short. Missed the line. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that. Oh, I'll tap in, Birdie. We'll take them. Let's see if he can knock this in. It's for Birdie. Nicely played. It's a Birdie at the fifth. And he's going to get it to one under for his round and 12 under for the tournament. It does appear so, Robbie, but you got to remember, um, on to the par this is St. Andrews, so this is a Lynx golf course. Golf, if they are firm fairways, I mean, we've all watched plenty of and rounds of golf at St. Andrews or Carnoustie uh, or any typical, like on the left you know, the Scottish in a Lynxy course. The right. You know, the ball uh, does so roll and roll and roll and roll. But it'll just be interesting when you go to other courses if the roll is the same over the top kind of thing. But, you know, I'm not not disagreeing with you. It does roll a crazy amount, for sure. Okay, that's going to be safely in the fairway, and that's where you need to play from if you're going to make a final round surge. Uh, yeah, I know, yeah. But it's um, where I've not done too much yards. to my character. It's All very minimal what second. you can do with the right stick, so you can only really keep it inside the um, inside this first box at the minute. Um, what have we got? Where's this finesse shot? Finesse, there we go. Yeah, that's good pot. A birdie here at one. All right, we need to get on a little and streak. It's a minus 13 for the tournament. Two under for the day. Now, seventh hole here at the old course, Frank. Ideal line, just take your um, How do you put spin on the ball? Down. So it's basically um, the done the by the shot train, type that you choose. The so there's things like uh, the so finesse shot that you just saw. That, that gives you backspin. For the and there's something that's out. called the spinner, which is meant to give you backspin, I would assume. But it doesn't. It kind of... It looks more like a punch shot, the spinner to me, and then when it lands, it doesn't really do anything. Um, you can adjust this stick on the right-hand side to um, have more of a high trajectory or a low trajectory, but it doesn't really adjust your distance too much. As you can see, we've got 259 and then 256. So it, it, it's really done on just the shot type here, like the finesse. Obviously, you're not going to see it now because we're, we're on a drive here, but that that's kind of... I don't want to go all the way up there. I don't want a finesse either. I don't want a driver. I want a free wood. I want to just keep it in play. We're going to go over swing a little bit here. Just to make sure we get it up and over. So can he capitalize on the break? Right, where's the win? Five second, right in our face. So if we just go up behind. So this if we sort of pitch us on this slope, it should spin back to the hole with that wind as well. Well, as long as we get the perfect. Oh, look at this. Perfect, perfect. Well, Rich, I didn't expect this sort of uh, fireworks here today, but already with some birdies on the card and another one here by the looks of things. Oh, Jesus. Mm, a good opportunity. Lost so again, <laughs> that part is left to right. I've aimed left edge of that hole and it's gone left. 
And when you have a look at the golf ball, when it came to its resting position, it's kind of spinning on its axis like that. It's not rolling over, it's spinning like that. It just, it's weird, man. Now to the par 3-8. Frank, what's the best way to go at it? Well, for these yeah, they are very irritating. The yeah, I've said that in previous videos. See. When are they going to make like animations make coming up here. mimic or represent what kind of shot, shot you've hit? Yeah, they're all they're all just so cheesy still. But you know, things like that I can get over. I'm not too bothered by that. It's just the core gameplay has to be decent. Oh, this should be good. See, again, look at that. That was like that ball hit concrete. It's meant to be a finesse shot. I played that ball. I played that ball like six yards short of the flag. Six yards short of the flag on a finesse shot. And it's literally pitched and bounded on like it hit some sort of concrete. And I hit a perfect then as well. That was a perfect shot. And I think it was a little bit under, so it should have gone shorter than where my marker was. Right, ball is 6.9, 7 below, 7 degrees below my stance, so it's got to go right. And it doesn't, it goes left. Now a seven footer. And now, see, I, I just don't trust this now. <laughs> don't trust it at all. <laughs> oh no, I thought that was in for sure. Just a little jag right at the end, gonna leave it on the This lip. game's trolling me. That one finished off. It's a bogey here at number eight. And he's gonna fall to three shots off the lead. And Frank, the Open Championship coming back to the home of golf this summer. Yeah, and, uh, and remember, too, the last time it was here, Louis Eustazen at the ninth hole, he had no problem driving this par four. Yeah, so we can get it on here. See if you can we can get this on here quite that easily. Last bunker down there. There's every chance that your tee shot... Oh, yeah, we got the wind as well. Very flat green. Got the wind as well. Let's tee it high. Oh, he's taking a big run at this. See, look at the logo on that golf ball. It's going absolutely just erratic. Watch it spin now on its, on its axis. There you go. <laughs> well, they claim it's a reachable par four. We haven't seen a whole lot of people do it today. We just saw it right there. Well done. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. Not much more than a tap in there. It is a birdie at right, the Right, we're out in 34. And we'll out in 34, two under par. It felt like that was better than that. Side. It feel, did feel like that was much better than that. Starting off the backside here at St. Andrews with the 340-yard par Did we get a double bogey in there? Is that what stitched us up? Bobby Jones, 1927 Open champion and 1930 amateur champion. Right center off the tee. Ideal here. The fairway narrows around 280 yards, but the green is drivable. This is turning a little to his left. And Come on, get close enough for the we'll flop shot. To see on these final nine holes, if they're going to get back into it, that's in the fairway at ten. It's the only way we can guarantee a birdie, isn't it? Really, get it close on a flop shot. The big drive got him here. Now a short one oh. for his second. Get up. Uh, why? Let's have a look. No, we're not going to get up with the flop, are we? Fifty. Oh, that's as far as we can go, unless we give it a bit extra. As we try to like over boost it, just gotta try it, and we. It's the only shot I'm comfortable with, really. Oh, 
Uh, all, are all 30 courses well unlocked? The yes, they are. Yeah, they would, the they, they would appear so, today. which was, uh, surprised me, actually. Yeah, that did surprise me. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. And he'll move to three under here. Just one shot off the lead. Yeah, come on. One when shot the for lead. Over, you call your buddies and tell them that one of the more famous and diabolical par threes in the world. Right, we've not played this hole well at all. Because I promise you, it can rob you Oh my god, look at the pin Bill right in the back. Strat, those greenside bunkers, and they've inflicted a lot of pain over the years. I just don't want to go long. Do not want to go long. We've got the wind to stop us going long. There is that. Oh, that's a good swing. That's a good swing. Come on. Stop. Oh, God. Boy, this is just way too much. So call. weird. The whole location. That was completely overcooked. Stay a couple of shots. Uh, is there a lead. course maker in this game? No, there's not, Ed. No, not in this one, unfortunately. Frank, how do you like the 12th hole here at St. Andrews? Well, it's a beautiful par four. You start to see the uh, the village of St. Andrews in the background, Eden Estuary to the right, and also decision time. If you're long enough, it's certainly worth having a crack right, at this Can we four get it down there? But Should we if just you're not a long hitter, then you've really got to worry about those four beautifully. Just worried well about that bunker. We do have the bu wind. Uh, position bunkers in the middle of the fairway. Oh, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Come on, be good. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's real good. Yeah, although it's got to stop going Mac 3. Bye bye. Bye bye, ball. Uh, stop then. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. I mean, the distance that that ran through the, <laughs> through the rough. I haven't got no way of stopping this, have I? Stay, 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 stay on the table. Okay, we might have a chance to burn it. It should be quite flat work, up there. It'll end up okay. Um, yeah, the roller is hold. stupid. Right, I'm actually just playing this like way further than what I should do for two inches downhill, but I just don't want this ball to break. See, it's it's like it's hardly breaking there at my feet. So I'm going to move right edge because it's got three beads of left. Then it's got a tiny bead of right and then it's back to going left again. So this is. This has got to it's got to be OK. You betcha, what a roll there. That is in for a birdie. And he's back within two with still six more holes remaining. Come Here's on, let's just post the score. 13th. It's 418 yards, the key. And you can see it as plain as day is to stay away from those coffin bunkers. They are nasty. Yeah, the it's dangerous up should there. Be aimed it's all right rough, at the isn't center it? of this gigantic double green. I don't know whether we just take the... Uh Take a finesse. And just make sure we find fairway. Because every time we've played this hole, we've not we've not found the fairway. We lost this one to the left. I 
I mean, look at it go. That's ridiculous. It's a free wood. <laughs> That's meant to be a finesse shot. That's rolled so out nearly 100 a yards. Second shot, missing the fairway with the uh, you like this better than rough. 2K23? Down no, course, absolutely not. Check in with Nota Begay, the third. Nah, not for me. 156 yards left to the hole. Ball sitting up very nicely in the rough. Gotta get, gotta get lucky. Well, that's hard to see, isn't it? Uh, the Tom hills don't seem to take any speed off the ball short. at all. Excellent use of no, the and shot. it's the, it's the speed at which it goes far. over the hills as well. It rides the bumps. It, it just seems like it's got like a sort of fast forward mode on it. Well judged. That is in for par here at 13. Oh, we need to get we'll 17. At 15 under. 17. Frank, what's the strategy here at the 14? If you can't go for this uh, par, par five, isn't it? Two, Rich, um, there is another option where you can go left, and I mean left of left. That's down the fourth fairway. That's uh, across the Elysian Fields, um, as they call it, which is a, a set of sort of hu uh, hummocks that run down the middle. And uh, you can find Perfect. a flat line come on, there baby. and come across at Get about a five degree angle for your third shot to 14. That's rough, is it? Okay. So from the rough, Iona's down there. Yeah, and he got very lucky there. We're over on the right-hand side, very close to the stone wall, which marks the outer bounds. And further right is the second hole of the Eden course. This is going to go way through. It's going way through. Impressive to get the power on that second shot into uh, the par yes, five and Robbie. comfortably get it up here by the green. I know it's in that green side bunker, but that is very doable. Heck, we need a blast, don't we? Hmm. Up, 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 up you go, up you go. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Oh, come on. Ten foot putt left. There's no break in this putt. <laughs> there's no break in that putt. There's no, there's no, the beats aren't moving left. Christ. Okay, good putt. Yeah, Graffley is gorgeous. 14. Yeah, Graffley is stunning. And he'll remain I just don't know if I can put up with all these inconsistencies, man. Time to tee it up here at the 15th as we begin the closing stretch here at the Open Championship of the Old Course at St. Andrews. There's a big steeple in the distance, so even when it starts to fog in a bit, if you can keep your eye on that, that's a good line off the tee. All right, let's shape you, it around the corner. It, uh, your tee shot just short of this sort of heather, big crop of heather down the left side. It still leaves you a lengthy second shot, but really that's the safest way to try and play this par four. Oh, 15. no, Very this is good par four. Come on, be lucky. <laughs> be lucky. Another wonderful oh. tee shot. We got lucky, chap. 75 yards, the distance remaining here right, for finesse, his second nice. to this par four. Okay, seven. So we've got seven wind at our back. Come on, this should be all right. This should be pretty good. 
What a nice shot. Right um, I think so. I, I, I think so, yeah. Easy putt on the way. In my opinion, yes. I mean, there's no reason why... I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, stick with 2K23. That's what I'm certainly going to do, I think. Look, how does it not turn? How does it not turn? They're all going left, and the ball just goes straight. What's the point in having the beads there? Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll stay right where he is. So we've talked about options. That's the genius of the old course. And here we have another great example at the 381 yard par 416. You can play it on the safe side by aiming down the left side. You want to try to avoid the cluster of bunkers known as, I love this, the principal's nose, or you can aim right. But if you do, you risk going OB. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Mm -hmm. uh, 52 yards. Should be able to get the finesse on it, hopefully. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second for this par four. Come on, spin. And now you don't spin. <laughs> okay, not particularly close, but a no chance for the putter to oh, do it. Dear me. What a horrible putt. putt. 26 one foot up. 26 one this foot up. Really it's all about nine. visualization. You've got to see the line in your head, pick out a spot, maybe a foot, foot and a half in front of you, and aim for that. See, why is it going left? Why the hell is that ball going left? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good putt from there. A little short, but not too bad. Jesus Christ! Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll remain right where he is. Frank, the 17th hole, you can get room service along the way here? Uh, you can. If you flare one right there, you'll also play a... Right, two more holes and then bounce. I'm done for the night. Yeah, so that hamburger better <laughs> taste good. Take better be worth it. A little left of that, a little left of the out-of-bounds, and you're left with a second shot. It's fairly daunting because you have the road hole bunker to avoid and the road behind the green. Hence the name. Short. It might be in the rough, but that was absolutely crushed. And set for a second shot here at 17. Let's see if he can finish with a good one. This ball in the rough, but a pretty good line. That's a good shot out of the rough. Really controlled the uh, the lack of spin out of the grass. Ball didn't jump either, so did not go over the green. Oh, oh there he the is. was spot on. That ball somehow just decided not to go down. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. I reckon we should have been like seven under right better than what he is. Seven shots better than what we are right now. Without a doubt, it if is the one of the behaved. most famous finishing holes in all of golf. Frank, it doesn't <clears throat> look like much from the tee, but wow, when you factor in the history, it's something special, isn't it? Yeah, there's a little road that runs across this uh, this par four. It's about 100 yards short of the green. It certainly comes into play when you play this hole into the breeze. But uh, no breeze or into the breeze, you've got to worry about the out of bounds that surrounds the screen all the way down the right side and beyond. And it's a wonderful little finishing hole in many ways. Right, let's get out a little bit here. It the of the game. Yeah, I'm not bothered by that. Right. So from a little more than 70 yards, this 
Finesse, we've got a little wind on our face. We do have a hanging lie, the ball is way above our feet. So I think that's going to balance out the wind. Um, I'm going to... Well, this is the last round of the career for St. Andrews, thankfully. It's getting pretty late here, to be honest with you. It's, uh, what, I, you know, I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's half past 12. It's just, just gone midnight. I've got work tomorrow, so I'm actually going to probably come off it now while I've got my sanity tonight. <laughs> while I've got my sanity. And, uh, and, and play a little bit more tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. And this will be a strong All right. final round score. Of there we 67. go. Tied second. Thank God for that. Well, Frank, a win would have been nice, but this is all you're looking for, right? Here at Q School. Just get in. That should have been so much better than that. People that. Just the amount like of putts that just didn't go where they should have gone. You know, you Break the completely the 40, opposite way to where the beads were showing. And that's exactly what we saw. Yeah, there's just so many inconsistencies here. It so really is. It's us, such a shame. Frank, I think there's Nora. a good golf game down underneath. I'll tell you. I'll tell you there's a good golf game under here, I think. Or better golf game, yeah. Yes. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. So what have I got? I've got, so what's going to be tomorrow? One week left, Corn Ferry. So we're in the Corn Ferry Tour Q skill. So we didn't, basically we had to win the tournament to um, to enter one of the majors. So obviously the Master or the Open. Uh, because we didn't win, we came second. Uh, we've just qualified to get into the Corn Ferry Tour Q skill, uh, which is at Bay Hill Club and Lodge. So it's four rounds again. I don't, I don't really want to keep playing four rounds, to be honest with you. Um, there doesn't seem to be anywhere where I can change the rounds played. <clears throat> Which is kind of weird. Yeah. It would have been nice to just play one round tournaments. Rather than four. It's a bit of a slog to keep playing four rounds all the time. I'll have to have a look at that tomorrow, but... um. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna come off that I think now tonight. Yeah, I mean I don't know. It's it's good apart from when you're on the course, unfortunately. And the golf game needs to be good when you're on the course, doesn't it? But yeah, maybe it'll get patched. I don't know. We shall see. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it, guys. Maybe it's given you an, uh, an idea of the game. Maybe it'll be a little bit better on a different course. Maybe it'll be better once we've got more points into our uh, character. Um, let's just have a look. Let's have a look. So what we got? We got four points to put on. Where can we put them? I mean, accuracy is key. It just seems so far. Maybe we need to put a few on putting to maybe stop those completely inconsistent opposite breaking putts that happen. I'm just going to do that because it's driving me wild. Uh, how do we apply that? Stay. What? I've got four. Four. Oh, okay. Is one of them double points or something then? Maybe one of them costs two points. So let's have a look. One. Oh, yeah. They cost. Okay. So we can do that one. I don't know. That feels like a waste. That feels like a waste. I need to read about the uh, the, sp the spinner. Where's the short game? Let's read what the spinner says. A low-flying, high-spin pitch shot that lands and checks quickly. Okay. So it's meant to be low-flying then, but it definitely does not land and, and check quickly. It just shoots through the green. I think a long flop will be the, be the one to get as well. Anyway... Right, I will catch you all on the next one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Sorry it's been a bit frustrating. Um, 
it can't always be all positive, right? You've got to be a little bit real with your opinions. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all on the next one. Take it easy, guys. Adios. Good night.